Hello everyone. Welcome back. Happy Monday. I went live like two minutes early because I was just sat here and I, I don't know. Why not? <laughs> anyway, hi. <laughs> we're going to play some Sims today. Uh, we're actually going to play some of our Not So Berry Challenge, I think. I'm hoping to get some more graves. I realize that sounds bad, but I just, I, I don't know. I want more, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> um, I don't know, I might, I might eliminate somebody, who knows, or maybe I'll just find some. All are good options, but yeah, we're gonna play some of The Sims today, and also I think we're gonna try, I don't know, I should get the save back open, hold on. Let's do that first, shall we? And then from there we'll decide what to do. I haven't gotten all the occult graves yet. No, I don't have, um, I don't have a spellcaster grave. I think I'm missing a spellcaster grave. So, I guess I could find one. <laughs> is it, is it bad to actively seek out a sim? just so I can get their grave. You know? We're gonna play Sims 3 tomorrow, Roxy friend. We're gonna play Sims 3 tomorrow. Um, but is it... Is that bad? You think no? Okay. <laughs> I, well, I think you're wrong. But, that's fine. <laughs> Not bad, you say? Mm, it probably is, but... <laughs> oh well. future partner? Yeah, we could eventually marry a spellcaster, I guess, but like realistically, I mean, that would be far away because it wouldn't be until Blaze is older and Blaze still has nine days of being a child. So like, we're not really close to finding a spellcaster, are we? That's not really anytime soon, is it? If we wait for it to be a person we should marry. Um, I've got, look, I've got a few occult graves. So, is that a poop? Oh my god. Of course it's a poop. Every, there's poop everywhere in this house. Everywhere. It's there, it's in the kitchen. There's poop everywhere. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <laughs> at least it's outside, you know? <laughs> at least it's not in the front yard this time. Let me put up some Winterfest decorations. Oh, cute. Okay. I don't really like them, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna try and read some subs here quickly. Uh, Frank and Catherine and Emily and Cosmic and Summer and Nye and Solis and Monique and Jack and Deville and Cynthia, um, Alicia and German and Ashton and Courtney and Honey and Space and Summer and Paula and Eggroll and Olive and Kat and Houston, um, Delarial and C with the 54 months and Gemini and Deadly Sins. Um, I missed one more, hold on. And, and Maris Jenna, thank you all for the resubs, by the way. I really appreciate that. Um, so it's 6 a.m. Today's Winterfest. Do you know what? We talked about wanting to, because Bran's whole thing, this poor guy wants to have parties. That's like his whole life goal. We never have parties. We never have parties. Should we throw a party today? Should we do like a Christmas party? You know? No Sims 3 today, friend. We're going to play Sims 3 tomorrow. Um, we plan to have it on Tuesday, so tomorrow. Um... But we can have a little Christmas party, because then he can work on his goal. Although it wouldn't count as earning silver, because I can't do a... Well, let's try. Let's add an event. What kind of party should we do? Maybe a dinner party. Let's plan it as a dinner party. And then we can invite, like... I don't know. These people are... Um, the family of Bran, so we can invite them. Oh my god, they had so many kids. <laughs> and we can invite the other pots sims as well. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have... Wait, maybe... Hold on. Let me host it with Raisin first. This will be better. How long have I been live? Oh, Winter Cat, I went live 4 minutes and 36 seconds ago. So, uh... <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> you didn't miss much, I promise. <laughs> Christine, thank you for the 24 months. And Chris, and Emmy, and Hot Potato, and Brat, and Amanda, and Sam with the subs. Shay with the five gifted subs. 
um, Electra and Yelling and Denis and Kayla and Leah and Fire and, and Naz and Sophie and Moon and Costco and Corey. Thank you all so much. Yeah, Raisin and Bran are together again. We got remarried last time. Um, also, someone asked if that was an alien. This is Grave. This is my Sims dad. Um, he is half alien. His mom was an alien. So there is a little bit of alien in this family, yes. Um, to answer your question. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Okay, we'll do it here, and maybe I'll do it at, like, we could do it at noon. It could be, like, a, you know, Christmas lunch or something. Should we decorate for the holiday? Should we get some stuff? Maybe I'll buy a tree. Hold on. Poison the food? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't, I don't want to kill my Sims family. I know I said I wanted to kill some Sims, but I didn't mean, like, you know, my daughter. I, I more meant, like, the neighbor. <laughs> oh, we could do a purple one. I've never used that. It works for the plum jet of Not So Berry, yes? I kind of like it. Okay, let's try and get our fun up. Should we woohoo with Bran? Please? Thank you. Oh, Bran's bathing the dog. Oh, I shouldn't have unclicked that. Okay, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, Anna and Emmy and Dan and Simcat and Nuclear and Kel and Expired, Anonymous and Decent and Mama Gator, thank you all for the subs. And hey, Sarah, thank you for the gifted subs too. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't really know what we're going to do today. To catch you all up to speed, uh, this is my Sim Raisin. She is the heir of this legacy challenge. Um, this is her dad, Grave. Her other dad, dead. If you're wondering, oh no, where did Eric go? Dead. In fact, he died at Raisin's wedding, so uh, that was last episode. <laughs> uh, this is Raisin. This is her husband, Bran. They they got married, got divorced, and recently got married again. That's part of the rules of this generation of Not So Berry, so we've been married to this guy twice now. We're currently married again. Uh, and these are our three kids. Their names are Blaze, Garfield, and Cheddar. Um, the Not So Berry Challenge, each generation is like a color theme. Stop yelling! Each generation is like a color theme. Um, and so we have like the purple gen right now, the previous one was gray, this next one is orange. So that's kind of why the house is purple, because it's the purple gen. Her kids are all wearing all orange and, you know, have orange hair and stuff, because it's the orange gen next, so. Uh, that's kind of the, the vibes. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, but... What? The kid, I don't think... Can I, like, teleport you downstairs so that you can sleep? I don't know why you didn't sleep before, but it's really annoying. If I have to teleport you, then I will. I'm not worried about it. I'll cheat to teleport kids downstairs. That's fine by me. Grab a serving. What about you? Use bathroom, take shower. Okay. Whew. Safe game. <laughs> Is the dog purple? Yeah! I've got two dogs. I'll show- no, sorry, one of them's a cat. <laughs> I have two pets, not two dogs. Uh, this one is Prune, my purple- my purple poodle. And this- uh, the other one is Carrot, my little orange cat. They are in fact not both dogs. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Misspoke that one. Um, okay, are you gonna woohoo like I wanted you to? No, cause you went to sleep. Oh no. Does that mean that you didn't sleep last night? Hmm. And it's Garfield's birthday. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Are you going to woohoo now? Good. Okay. Also, oh, other thing. Grave might look like he's going to die. You might think, oh, this elder has a glowing bar. The elder's going to die. In fact, he's not. Do you know why? He has 29 days left of his life. Because he finished the fitness aspirations, so he's got this long-lived trait. So he's not going to die. Unfortunately, not even close. <laughs> Unless he dies from something else, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm just trying to- oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> Kid's like crying to himself in bed. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh, that makes me feel bad. <laughs> okay. Um, yikes. 
Green Gen had 39 bonus days. Yeah, my Green Gen had a lot of bonus days, but he's he's lived through a few of his bonus days now, so we, we don't have, like, all of them left anymore, obviously. Who's dead? One of his grandpas died. Um, last time we streamed this, he died during my Sims wedding. Like, on the floor in the middle of the reception. Died of old age. So. It was unpleasant, to say the least. But that's fine. <laughs> Shane, thank you for the gifted subs. And Jess, and Main Street, and Lazy, and Angie, and Noodle, and Krista, and Bumblebee, and Chanel, and Duna, and Emma. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Oh, I got him to level five. That's actually pretty good. I might make you come work on this. If I have to age this kid up today, I might as well, like, try and, you know? You know, I thought about building a senior living apartment for Grave. <laughs> no, I don't want Grave to move out. I When he dies, I need him to be here because I need to make sure I don't lose his grave. It's extremely, extremely important that that um, he doesn't, like, you know, leave me. I'm just going to cheat his sleeping need. I can't deal with that right now. Okay, come get some leftovers. We're going to play Sims 3 tomorrow, Starbone. We actually played Among Us on Saturday. Um, we were playing, uh, Among Us with some friends on Saturday. We usually play Among Us about once a month, um, and we did that on Saturday. Okay, I'm just making sure everybody's ready for when we have the, uh, ooh, you're vacuuming through the wall. That is actually quite impressive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um... You need to work on your social skill. I guess maybe I could try and get like a club of some friends. Hold on. Friends. With a fire icon, because the kid's name is Blaze. Blaze is gonna be the heir, so I really would like to try and work on um, his aspiration and stuff. Do you know what? Sawyer Gold. Also, these kids, these McLeod kids are our cousins. But the Gold family seems like the kind of people that I might want to be friends with. You know? In this, like, color-themed legacy. And maybe I'll add some more of my cousins. Oops, can only get a few. That seems like a good idea, right? Let's invite over Sawyer Gold. Hold on. <laughs> Marsupial, Atomic, Linz, and Frona, and Asinine, and H. Perun, and JGC, thank you for the subs. Okay, this will be good. I'll try and befriend this kid. Maybe I'll go look at them in Cass, just to see. I want to see. How do you decide the heir for the next gen? It's not a beginner question, dude, don't worry. Um, it's that's That's the kind of thing that really depends on your own personal... Uh, how you're feeling because how I decide on the air for the next generation is really just how I'm feeling <laughs> uh, the kid that I like the most usually in this case because in like a normal legacy you might like select their traits separately or maybe you'd randomize their traits but in this um because they're the traits for the air are very specific like the that sim needs to have certain traits um I, I wouldn't decide based on traits because like you have to have certain ones. So I kind of just pick the air based on names in Not So Berry. Um, and I have a sim called Blaze. And I like Blaze a lot because I have all these fires all the time. You know? <laughs> um, and so it's funny that his name is Blaze and we have all these fires. Uh, in the same way that Grave is funny because I have all these graves. And he's from the Grey generation. So it's, it's just kind of like a, a play on it. Which is why it's funny. Uh, but in like a regular legacy, maybe you decide that you always want to have the oldest kid be the heir or or the youngest or maybe you just want to pick randomly or maybe you um i don't know people have other different things it kind of just depends on how you feel though some legacies have rules i don't really care about that i i just pick based on who i feel <laughs> you know i think it's more fun but that sometimes i guess might not help if you aren't sure who you want to use you know sawyer is a perfectionist and she seems cute Sawyer's sister Iris is lactose intolerant. We can't have that. I can't have anybody else pooping on the floor. <laughs> We've had enough of that. We can be friends with Sawyer. We don't need to be friends with Iris. 
Too much, too much. Oh, I like this little outfit. Maybe you could wear that. Yeah, no, we, we, I'm avoiding that. I'm sorry to say, but I am avoiding that. I don't need that person. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make sure the Sim has like an outfit, you know? That's kind of cute. Should I use this hair? Should we pick a different hair? I'm not sure. Hmm. I kind of like this one. It's kind of cute. Okay. Do you want to have a little gap in your teeth, maybe? Also cute. I'm not going to kill this Sim. I want to be their friend. <sighs> Everyone, please. <laughs> Michael Shaga. I'm trying to make a friend. <laughs> I'm not trying to find someone to kill. <laughs> oh, careful. Yes, no. Careful. Do I think Blaze will date her? Oh, I don't know. I hadn't really thought that far ahead. <laughs> I I just want a friend. Um, New cheese bag we'll have to decide that more once they're older. You know, it's hard to choose when they're only a kid because we don't know what her traits are going to be like when she's older, right? Um, <laughs> Mother of Pixel, thanks for the raid and Bree and Julie and Alicia and Cassidy and Evs and and Becca and C and and Nix and Chai and Davis and Emily and Shay with a thousand bits. Uh, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. That's true. Blaze has to have twins with whoever we have, whoever we um, end up with. We're gonna have to have twins. That's part of the rules for the next generation: is you have to have twins. Um, just the two kids and their twins. People always ask, like, "What if I don't have twins?" It's fine. <laughs> it's not that deep. Don't worry. You're not gonna like lose or something if you don't have twins. That's just kind of the goal is to have twins for the next generation. And I'll, I'll just cheat for it, so I'll make sure my sim has twins. All right, well, we're gonna celebrate Winterfest with Sawyer, who is going to be my new best friend. Make a silly face. Should we take some photos together? Let's see if we can be friends. We have to make a BFF, so. Yeah, I went Cheeto with MC Command Center, yeah. Um, the party is about to begin! Yay! Make drinks! Oh my god, can someone cook a grand meal? Make a tofurkey dinner, please. Um, we're also gonna need the hosts to socialize with guests. Um, okay. You don't actually have to socialize that much, do you? Only four times. Are you gonna take the selfie I want? Take a selfie, I'm trying to cheat your relationship. Why's everyone just stood here? I have been in this game for a lot longer than 24 hours. <laughs> this is the 15th generation. They won't take the photo. Let's try again. Also, Silana and Lonely and Gryffindor and Mel and Othello and Clara, thank you for the subs. Wait, maybe they're gonna do it. Here we go. Here we go. That's kind of cute. They're like so cropped out of it. <laughs> okay. Um, how close are we now? Not really very close. Do it again. I'm sorry to say this, but I really want them to be best friends. It's extremely important to me. Hurry up. Maybe I'll... Oh, that's better. You can actually see them both this way. Okay. How close are we now? Decently close. Okay, discuss interests. Um, ask about day. Oh, I also need to buy some presents. For Winterfest. Will she disappear when her elder mom dies? No, the game will, like, rehome her somewhere else. From my experience. Um... I can age down the mom. I'm not that worried about it. We're not on a short lifespan with these sims. So it's not as much of a concern as it is in my like other legacy. Can I open it with like everybody? Oh my god, we can. Ooh. This is kind of cute. You know, like a family Christmas. Uh, 
Games Hello? Are we gonna do it? You also have not finished socializing with guests. Hello? Opening gifts, maybe? Someone made this. I'm gonna try and get this grand meal. This is not working. <laughs> Opening presents, like, never works. <laughs> it's really annoying. Oh well. I'll try. I'll try. Come on. Hurry up. Oh, they're opening them, they're opening them. Oh, you're gonna get going? Okay. Two legacy saves? What do you mean? Yeah, I've got one that I play on YouTube and one that I play on Twitch. This is the not so berry challenge. Um, one garden friend. Oh, we are getting gifts. See, this is fine. The party has two hours and 13 minutes left. And somehow we are still not done cooking. So, fingers crossed we can finish this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, call to grand meal. Everyone, please eat. Please, I'm begging you. Did we get it? Call guest to meal. Oh no, do you need to do it? Call to grand meal. Yes? Okay, there we go. We got a gold party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the house is on the gallery, Shay, yeah. Uh, I also made a- oh, I haven't posted it yet. I'm gonna make a YouTube video building this house this weekend. I haven't posted it on YouTube yet. But I will. I will. Are the Sims white? Well, one of them, this one that's actually in my household is gray, because he's the gray gen of Not So Berry, and his mom was an alien. Um, and some of the other party guests are related to him, so they're also gray. Okay, I'm just gonna end the party, because I- I got a gold medal. Oh, it didn't count as him throwing the party, because I- Because I had someone else start it! Oh no. Well... Oops. Oops. Okay, are you gonna eat that? I wanna make sure everybody has, like, a gold medal or whatever, a high quality day. As long as everybody completes Winterfest. That's all I care about. You got it. You only care about presents. Oh, and you didn't get to have any. Oh no. Add presents to the pile. Oh, I feel guilty. The toddlers didn't get any gifts. Here, open your present. You can open yours too. So sorry, kids, so sorry. Oh, I need to use the phone for its account? I guess that would make sense. That's kind of annoying. Should I throw another one? Should I throw, like, a birthday party now for the kid? <laughs> we have, like, a second party just today. Why not? It is the toddler's birthday, so... We can have a second party. Birthday party! Birthday sim! Garfield. Um... Here, we can invite, like, the rest of the family, because I, I didn't invite over, like, any of Bran's family earlier. I only invited over, like, the Potts family, so we can invite over the other side for this. There! Okay, let's bake a cake. <laughs> um, would you like to make a chocolate cake? Thank you. No, we don't have any twins, they're just kind of close in age. Only, um, this one's a child, this one's a toddler aging up today, this one's a younger toddler. Um, so you can see it, this one's actually a lot younger than the other one, but they're both, um... They're both technically toddlers right now. Um... Yeah, Games for Moms, if you go to caseify.com forward slash Simsy, that's how you get to it. Um, it's still active, yeah. Um... But it'll, it'll like, automatically give you the discount off if you go to that, that, um, link. Okay, I finished making the cake now. And we'll try and, um... Have you finished making it yet? Why did you put it on the floor? Add birthday candles, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Wonder if worth it. I'll blow candles. Garfield, okay. Here we go. 
<laughs> Here we go. Philip and Mr. Billy and Mel and Jade and Honey. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Cheddar is very hungry. Okay, well, luckily you're gonna have a birthday, so... Oh no, you're not gonna have a birthday. Wait, why didn't you eat? Can I just say you did? Yeah. Hello? Oh my god, I'm so over this game. Age of Garfield. Age of Garfield. Age of Garfield. Yeah, the dog is always dirty. I have so many puddles, the dog rolls in them every day, so I have to bathe the dog every day. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Main goal, blow out the candles. We did that. I need to tell some jokes and then have everybody eat cake. Uh-oh. Do you want to call everyone to the meal? Please eat cake so I can get at least a silver party. Hey, Simmery Sims, thank you for the subs, by the way. I really appreciate that. All right. Garfield is a animal enthusiast. You know what? That kind of works. Eat the cake! Please, please grab a serving of the cake! Please! Please! I want to get a silver party! <laughs> please! Eat the cake! Oh my god. I think it's glitched. Oh look, it's a silver party! Okay. That should have counted! Why didn't it count? Oh my god. Oh, it did. Okay, sorry. I had to make it stop. The noises, the noises. What is that? Okay. Um. I, at this current moment, am so over this game. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you, are you dancing? I, I know that we still have this like Sims moving while unpaused glitch happening, but like this, this is like... This is like next level. You know what the patch notes, like a couple weeks ago, when they were like, your Sims will no longer move while the game is paused. Really? <laughs> this is kind of scary. What do you think will happen when I unpause? Oh, you stopped. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Just use the bathroom. Just make it stop. He just really needs to pee. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I need to like dress up Garfield as well. Oh my god. Uh, Can you not even extinguish yourself? Please, please, please fix it! Please fix it! Please fix it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Extinguish the sim! I can't reset! He's gonna die! Put the kid out! Oh my god. Oh my god. You Okay. You know that that was bad. <laughs> Not Blaze. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> anyway, and that's why his name is Blaze. That took like so long in game. That actually, that was the closest I think I've ever had a sim come to dying in a fire. Like, in a long time. So... Okay, happy Winterfest, I guess. Oh, Santa's here and I forgot. Whatever, I don't, I don't even wanna, I... I can't. I, that's not for me today. We're, we're skipping Santa this year. <laughs> Sorry to my sims, but I... Cannot deal. Are any of the kids awake? I need to give you an outfit. I guess Santa's probably gonna leave. Oh, he's washing the dishes! Do you know what? This is my gift from Santa. Is a needs cheat. I think I deserved that. Okay, one of the kids doesn't even have a bed, so let me worry about that quickly too. 
Um, the child needs an orange colored bed. The one that just aged up. We could get a void critter bed. That could be kind of fun. Maybe I'll do that for now. Okay. And then I gotta dress up Garfield and- That's not your bed. <laughs> then I gotta dress up Garfield and Cass. Who died? Nobody did, Emily. We were just close to it happening, but it didn't actually happen. Okay. You go to sleep. You're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. Okay, we should be okay after this. Check on the cat. Bestie, I can't deal with that right now. I, like, I don't know what you want me to do. There's too much happening. How about that? Is that what you want? <laughs> oh, okay, save the game. We made it through the night somehow, miraculously. That was a lot. In fact, it was too much. It was too much. But we got there. We got there. Titch and Claw and Anu and Alex and Curly and Ninja and Caitlin and Gail and Junimo and Simmer. Thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness. Do you know what? Maybe I will go into cast then and I'll dress up the child that just aged up. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Okay. Sometimes this game really stresses me out. Oh, I like your hair like that actually. That's kind of cute. Okay. I'll, I'll keep the hairstyle, and then we'll just pick some new outfits, you know? So, in the Not So Berry Challenge, we wear all orange. <laughs> all orange, all the time. Uh, so we'll kind of go through... My sibling wears this, so I'll wear something different. Maybe we can always wear something like that. That could be cute. Uh, he has the animal lover trait. So, kind of a cute one. Considering his name is Garfield. <laughs> it actually kind of works out, you know? Uh, how about some, like, little jeans? I don't know. Roar! And, uh, and Rip! And Mary Posa, thank you for the subs, too. Okay, orange. There's, like, some little orange shoes. That works. Um, I guess that's kind of nice. We can dress like this. Yeah? Thought Garfield was the cat? Oh, no, no. The cat's name is Carrot. And I can't very well name a kid Carrot, can I? No. So, I didn't. Ooh, I like the orange shorts. Should we do, like, orange shorts and a white t-shirt or something? Ooh! Well, that works. The other kid's name is Cheddar. So. <sighs> it's kind of fun, isn't it? Um, can we just wear like, how about a white t-shirt? Or something like that might work. Okay. Uh, party wear. I'm not really that worried about <laughs> Outfits, I don't know. Colors, orange. What do you think you'll wear to a party? Oh, a little monster shirt. I like that actually. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. Um, okay, colors, orange, sleepwear. Um, I don't know why I'm in the- or swimwear, sorry. I don't know why I'm in this. Um, yeah, Whisper, one of my Sims siblings, so one of Raisin's siblings, Bonnie, who actually just died, oh god, I forgot about that. Uh, Raisin's sister, Bonnie, just died, uh, from story progression, like the neighborhood stories, thank god her. It said that she fell off a, uh, the mountain, which is, like, horrible. Um, but she was asexual. <laughs> Until she fell off a mountain. Um, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. The game did that. I did not send Bonnie off a mountain. Let's be clear. That was not me. <laughs> that was story progression. And it was very upsetting. Anyway. Um, yeah. That's the situation at the moment. So. 
Oh, we have her grave. Yeah, we went, we went to get her grave. Don't worry. Uh, I would not leave her. Uh, so I made sure we went and got it. <laughs> so her grave is still here. Um, it's in the front yard somewhere, luckily. Don't worry. I would not leave Bonnie behind. I don't like any of these. Oh, that could... Mm. How about a tank top for hot weather? And some flip-flops. Um... Uh, I don't know. I shouldn't wear the same things for all the outfits. You really liked Bonnie too? I know, I liked Bonnie a lot as well. I mean, it's it's the circle of life though, isn't it? <laughs> Although, most sims don't fall off a cliff. We've had really bad luck in, in this particular generation of this family, because two of the kids, and there were a lot of them, but two of the siblings died from story progression. One of them died, um, the pop-up was like, they laughed too hard at a, ja at a dad joke, and then Bonnie was like, fell off a mountain. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, so the other sibling, Barney, died first, and Bonnie, ooh, very similar names. Maybe that's the problem. Barney and Bonnie are both dead from story progression. <laughs> but yeah, that's really unlucky <laughs> that that happened to us. <laughs> Look, I'll show you. There were a lot of us though. Like in total, there was um, six of us, right? And two of them died, deceased by laughter, falling from heights. So they both got got by story progression. It was rough. <sighs> It was rough. Don't leave your sims unattended. I mean, this is the thing. I I like having the story progression on. It's kind of funny. Like, I, I honestly enjoy it. You know what? You're right, Donnie. Story progression gave us... So I had two kids that I did not want with story progression. These two. Wisteria and Blakely. Well, well actually what happened was I, I forgot I had Risky Woohoo up high. Got pregnant with that kid. Um... And then I left to live on al alone with Raisin for a little bit, and they got pregnant and had this one with story progression. And then when I came back uh, to the household, they were pregnant again. So there was gonna be another one. There was two story progression babies. But I said, no way. I, uh, I eliminated that one, okay? We did not go through with that pregnancy. Um, so <laughs> the story progression gave us two kids, and it took two kids away. This is revenge from story progression for what I did. But it had to be done. I did not want to have seven kids. Are you kidding? No way. <laughs> no way. So, anyway. Yikes, the game got me though. Risky Woohoo is actually a second mod that you can get with MC Command Center, okay? You can download MC Command Center, and then you can download MC Woohoo, and you can, like, update Woohoo settings. I usually keep Risky Woohoo on 1%, because it's kind of funny to me if there's, like, a tiny chance of getting pregnant. Um, but sometimes I'll put it up higher. Uh, like, we played- the reason that it was high and then I had a baby by accident is because in a different save, I had raised the percentage up, and I was doing the Black Widow challenge, and so I raised Whiskey, Risky Woohoo up 10% for every husband that I had. So I, like, married Jeffrey Landgrab 10%, married Mortimer Goth 20%, and I just kept upping it. And I think it was at, like, 30%, and I forgot, and then I had my sims in this save Woohoo. Uh, the one who got pregnant is dead, but <laughs> it was uh, it was Eric, Graves' husband. I had them woohoo, and then I got pregnant because I forgot I had risky woohoo so high. So that was my fault, but I put it back down to 1%. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, I need to bathe the dog. The dog is always dirty because I have so many puddles. It's really annoying. Uh, can you go back to bed? Maybe? You're gonna have to go to school today and you won't be fully rested, so that's a mistake. Don't remember him dying? Who, Eric? Oh, Eric died a few days ago. When did I play this last? On Friday? Eric died on Friday. Last stream. It was rough. It was rough. It was during uh, Raisin and Bran's second wedding. They were getting married after they had gotten divorced, so it was kind of like, I don't know. I guess most of the family probably was like, this is ridiculous. So I understand his choice to die, uh, but it seems kind of dramatic for him to be like, I object this wedding so much that I'm gonna die on the floor. Right in the middle of it, you know? Like, what? I don't know why you had to do that. 
you know? His bar is glowing. Oh, Sammy, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> this Sim Grave, uh, he has the, where is it? Long lived trait because he finished the fitness aspiration. So he's gonna live forever. Literally, he has 28 days left. So it's fine. Not dead. He has so many bonus days. <laughs> Oliver, and Clover, and Lisa, and Badger, and Caitlin, and Allison, and Ayers, and Pineapple. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Okay. Everyone's asleep. Raisin has work today. I'm gonna go into work today, because I need to do some surgery on some patients. <laughs> so, we got a lot to do. Oh yeah, that's right. I mean, Eric actually died twice last stream, but I had this weird- basically what happened was, um, I had planned a wedding. There's more people on the floor. I had planned a wedding, and you know when you plan a wedding at like a different event, or a different lot, I mean, and it gives you a pop-up like, oh, the wedding is starting soon, do you want to travel to the lot? Well, Eric died, and then the wedding pop-up happened, and so I pressed like, yes, I want to travel to the lot, but Eric hadn't been reaped yet, like the Grim Reaper was still there, and he was still actively dying. And so when I went to the wedding, and I came back home, Eric's grave was gone. Like, I never got the grave. And I- I can't have that. I have a collection. Like, we- you know, we can't miss out on a grave. So I had to close without saving and do it again. And then that time he died at the wedding. So, it was a rough day. He died twice. <laughs> he ruined actually two weddings. Um, so thank you- thank you to Eric for that one. Amazing. Just amazing. Okay. You have to go to school soon, so do you want to come get some food? And you have to go to work soon, but I'll probably just let you sleep until then. You know? Come on. Join. Okay. I want to do some surgery at the hospital. <laughs> last time I did- last time I did a surgery with Raisin, I had, um... I had improperly diagnosed the sim. And I performed a surgery that they did not need. Um, so, we don't have a good track record. <laughs> Whoops. I also, yeah, no, I, I misdiagnosed two children, or two sims. One of them was a child, one of them wasn't. The child I didn't do surgery on though. I only did surgery on the adult. But yeah, I, I did misdiagnose two sims last stream. So, fingers crossed, today goes better. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, yeah, you know. Whatever. Everybody makes mistakes. We're gonna quit our job soonish anyway. As soon as Raisin becomes an adult, we're gonna quit our job and go become an entertainer, so. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Okay, I'll go analyze this sample. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> hurry up. We'll see if I can do surgery on this sim. Maybe I'll like, I'll misdiagnose them on purpose. Just so that I can, um, do my third surgery. Because when I did this, it says for work, I need to perform surgery on three patients. One of them actually needed surgery. The other one did not need surgery. And I, I did it on both. And it counted on both even though one of them didn't actually need it. So, I could intentionally diagnose this guy with something that needs surgery on purpose. You know? Thoughts on that? <laughs> no, townies don't die from misdiagnosis, nothing happens. You do lose uh, work performance if you misdiagnose somebody. Like, they obviously don't like that. Um, they, they don't appreciate being misdiagnosed. Oh, I'm eating. Okay. Wow. Wish you wouldn't be doing that. Oh my god, you left him in there? What is wrong with you? I think he's trapped. Who does stuff like that? Oh my god. Raisin is a terrible doctor. <laughs> She should not be doing this. Okay, scan a patient's body. How about that? I might need to do the x-ray scan again. 
Um, weak diagnosis. The triple threat. <laughs> Refer for surgical treatment. Listen, 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 listen. Is it a good idea? No. Am I doing it anyway? Yes. I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Okay, I lost some performance because that failed, but I'll, I'll fix it. 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 Watch, watch, watch. I'll go log the sample analysis results. I think I can get, I think I can get this back. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not, I didn't lose like a lot of performance. I should have lost more considering I, you know, performed an unnecessary surgery. <laughs> okay, I won't do it again though. I won't do it again. Uh, swap for sample. <laughs> Yeah, Sims can get fired, but you need to have, like, your work performance really low down for that to happen. And, like, obviously my Sims' work performance isn't really low down, so... We'll be okay. Discuss general health. Um, scan body. Scan a patient in the x-ray machine. Come on. Come on. Hopefully I can fix it and get better performance. Yeah, it's honestly kind of hard to get fired in this game. It takes a lot to get fired. So. Alex and Noodle and Emily, thank you for the subs. All right, analyze the patient sample. Um, I should probably try and stay late today, huh? so that I can try and get my work performance up and get promoted. I'm level seven, which is pretty good. Yeah, we'll see if we can get it back there. We'll try and fix it. You can use the bathroom after this. Okay, perform a treadmill test, log the sample analysis results. I think we should be okay. I need an adult to do a treadmill test on though. Hmm. Admit patient to exam bed. Well, I could, I could misdiagnose. No, here, I'll come talk to this person. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a promotion today. We only have an hour left. I'm, my fun is very low. Um, swab for sample. Come on. I need to analyze it and do a treadmill test. Do you think I can diagnose you? Probably not. Think I can diagnose you? Maybe I can diagnose you. I'm just gonna do it. Just to get the diagnosis for this. It's quick. Okay, I shouldn't treat it though. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get promoted today. We're not gonna be close enough. Oh well, maybe tomorrow we can get promoted. That's fine. Oh, I got promoted! <laughs> oh, well, just that one last log made it work. We got a diligent doctor's desk, sickness resistant trait, bunch of money. Oh, well, good job, Raisin. I should not have been promoted. <laughs> I did not deserve that promotion. <laughs> That was terrible. Oh, Jamie, Alex, thank you for the subs. Okay. Wow. Hmm. If we got to level 10 before we quit, that would be so funny. But we're not going to quit yet because I think we only have like... <gasps> oh, the next thing is to deliver a baby. Oh, I really hope that I can do that tomorrow. We'll quit. As soon as Raisin becomes an adult, we'll quit. But I, I might let myself, if I don't get to deliver a baby tomorrow, I'll, I'll keep playing the doctor career until I can deliver a baby. Because that sounds like fun. The doctor career is fun. I'm getting my fun up, by the way. <laughs> Speaking of. Oh, wait, you can get your social level higher by talking to your brother. 
Oh, that's so easy. Wait, this is really good. Maybe they can be best friends. That would be so cute. They can be besties. Goof around? What are you doing? You're hungry. Oh, you're gonna eat. Okay. Okay. Tell me believe story. Quote to our cartoon character. Um. Ask about day. I don't know. We'll be best friends. It's gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute. Uh, it's so sad. Jamie, thank you for the subs too, both of you. Okay. Um, maybe you can just go to bed, because... Oh, you also can take a shower and then sleep. And then you can go to sleep. And then you can get some leftovers. Does the cat have a red glowing nose? Oh yeah. I've got some vet treats somewhere. They might be in my household inventory. I do have vet treats. I think this wedding cake is spoiled. I know I have some vet treats somewhere. I'll have to fix it. Oh, we have some of that stuff from the party. Also some of the toys the kids got. Oh, we got a karaoke machine? Oh my god, we got tons of stuff at that. Okay, I only have two vet treats left. Oh, did Raisin have them? No. I can make her have them. The vet treat will make it so that Kara is, is fixed. Where's that cake from? It's from the wedding pack. It's one of the wedding cakes. Um, it was like really tall and purple at the time. Obviously we've eaten a lot of it. <laughs> okay, I fixed the cat. You, you go to sleep. When do you have work? Tomorrow at nine, okay. You go to sleep. You go to sleep. Put everyone to sleep, honestly. It's too much. This is good. Nice, relaxing, peaceful day. Shelby, Agma, and Sam, thank you for the subs, too. Okay. All is well. The Christmas presents? I know they're still there. I can get rid of all the Christmas stuff, but I'm just gonna, uh-oh. Fill the dog bowl. I thought I bathed the dog. Maybe the dog's already dirty again. I wouldn't be surprised. There's just mess everywhere. It's because, um, it's because, give Prune a bath. Because the dog is um, always rolling in puddles and all my Sims died from drowning. So they all drip everywhere. Like that ghost was just dripping. So there's just puddles everywhere. And even though I hire like someone to help clean, it, they just keep coming. There's so many puddles all the time, all the time. Okay, I might get rid of this stuff now. Sell, sell. Okay. The dog is rolling in ghost juice! Ew! Do I have a robot vacuum? Yeah, I know that like the expensive one, it, it works, doesn't it? But they break so often and they were kind of buggy. So I sort of gave up on it. We can try again with it, but... Thought you could train that out? Yeah, Angela, does it look like I have? No. Exactly. <laughs> sure, you can. Have I? No. It happens too much. And there's not enough sims. I never catch it in time. This is the thing. Like, now I can't do it now. Because, like, it hasn't happened yet. Anyway, this is the like better robot vacuum, but it's still, it's just a nightmare. They're glitchy. I had to get rid of my um, robot vacuum last time because it was so buggy, but I don't know. We can try it again. <sighs> Cut to like an hour from now when I rage sell it. So, okay. Okay. Do, do, do. 
Are you gonna fix it? You're just gonna keep dripping? Okay. Okay. The vacuum, these Roombas came with uh, the cats and dogs pack, which is quite useful. You have cats and dogs, you never got that? Moon Pearl, check! Because if, if you've got cats and dogs, you have the vacuum. It's from cats and dogs. Promise. <laughs> uh, this is the more expensive one. But it's the high-end robot vacuum, and there's a cheaper one, too. So. Okay. Keep sleeping. Hopefully today we can deliver the baby. <laughs> Ooh. I've got 4,000 points. Maybe I'll buy like steel bladder so I don't pee anymore. And shameless, that would be useful. Okay, I'll get those. No embarrassment and no peeing. Thought it was from the vacuum pack? No, so there is a vacuum pack, right? Like we have bust the dust, um, but those vacuums are different. Those vacuums work with like the dust feature from Bust the Dust. These Roomba vacuums, the robot vacuums, um, they work with like cleaning up pet messes from cats and dogs. Okay. I'll send that away. Everyone keeps sleeping. Oh, Zipper, thank you for the bits. Make Blaze fireproof. Oh my God, that would be funny if we did that, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, he's already awake. Maybe I'll. leftovers okay and then maybe today I guess you want to keep working on befriending your sibling huh so we can do that this morning we can try and take some photos together or something you can shower after this what does blaze want oh blaze wants to make an enemy from being evil So, that's great. <laughs> oh, look at them! So cute! Oh, that's... You can barely see yourselves. Okay, how is Grave still alive? Because he has the long-lived trait from finishing the fitness aspirations, so he lives for, like, forever. Um... Okay, how are you doing? Your friendship is very high. So, discuss interests. Share night on the town excitement. Ah, stop! See, I never usually catch it in time to yell at the dog. Don't. Oh, Prune has learned not to play in puddles. Okay, well, finally. Okay, the kids are going to school. This kid is awake and will need a bath. Uh, give Cheddar a bubble bath. You need a shower also. That was easy. Yeah, I've lectured it before, so only had to catch it another time, but I just hadn't been catching it, you know? If you don't catch it in time, you can't do it. Probably still gonna get dirty all the time. Just you wait. Okay. So we'll go to work today and hopefully deliver a baby. That is my goal. Grave's an elder, yeah. Grave is indeed an elder. But he's gonna live for like 25 more days or something in game. Yeah, that's the thing, Missy. The robot vacuum doesn't work that well. Everybody always tells me to put it, but like it glitches, so. It doesn't hurt to have it. We've got enough money for it, so... Eh. We'll try. We'll try. Okay. Fingers crossed we get to deliver a baby. <laughs> that is my primary goal. Um, I guess I can come help this kid while I wait. Swab for sample. And then if any sims come in... I can't perform a treadmill test because all these sims are like children. Okay, analyze a sample. I'd like to get promoted today, but I don't think we will. It would be fun though, wouldn't it? 
Because then we could like try and max the career before we quit. <laughs> okay, log the sample analysis results. It's not a renovation actually, Dika. I built this hospital from scratch, but uh, if they look up hospital on my gallery, they'll find it. Okay. Very nice. Perform a treadmill test on a patient, run test to find diagnosis. Okay, well I need to get an adult so I can do a treadmill test. You can't do it on the kids. Come on. Okay, medical referral, refer for treadmill test. Yay. <laughs> yeah, you can't filter by hospitals on the gallery. You have to search. It'll be called like Willow Creek Hospital or something. Um, but yeah, you have to... Results were unavailable? That's annoying. That's annoying. Why are you quitting? It's part of the challenge, friend. Part of this generation of Not So Berry is that you have to have like a midlife crisis and uh, change jobs when they become an adult, so... We're gonna do that. Scan body... Swab for sample. Yeah? Check a patient's ears. I want to deliver a baby. Mm -hmm. We have to just wait and see if we get a work emergency though. Like you can't really force it. So we don't get a choice. Okay. Examine patient, take temperature. Um, discuss general health. Do you want an x-ray? Yes, okay. Examine patient, no. Medical referral, x-ray scan. Yay! Yay! Hurry up. Yay! <laughs> okay, back we go. Um... Examine patient. I want to check eyes, too. Finish school for the day. Did it not... Check eyes, please! Decent diagnosis chance. Okay, compelling diagnosis. We're covered in all these spots. Do you think it's the llama flu? I'll find out. <laughs> Patient cured! Okay. That's a relief. <laughs> I just guessed. I was pretty sure though. I was pretty sure that's what I had seen before. Yeah, Dino, I renovated a lot in Magic Realm more than once. Um, I have a version of it on my gallery. But yes, I have indeed renovated the Magic Realm lot. Okay. I did that like straight away when the pack came out because I felt it necessary. <laughs> okay, we did quite well today. I don't intend to stay late today. But I guess I should keep working on stuff. Log sample analysis results. The ghost has a chicken inside? Are you serious? Oh my god, I didn't know the nurse died from chicken. <gasps> that is extremely funny. That's like the best thing I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, let me just keep admitting some of these patients quickly. That's so funny. Okay, um, maybe I'll check your ears. Um, should I try and stay late? Maybe I will stay late, just to work on it a little bit more. Examine patient. Swab for sample. Examine patient, no. Medical referral. Refer for x-ray scan. How long do we have until we get off? Two hours? Okay. 
That's fine. What did the nurse do? Eat the chicken? Oh no, the nurse would have gotten killed by the chicken. Like, murdered by the chicken. So... Uh... <laughs> sorry to that guy, that sucks. Yeah, you know what? The doctor career is really fun. Like, genuinely really, really fun. Um, do you want to examine patient take temperature? And then... Scan body? Come on. Form a treadmill test. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let us play and puddle! And Kelly, thank you for the subs. Okay. Should do a witchy build sometime? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, wow. Are you good? I'm not sure. Oh, well, we made a lot of money at work today. Like, a lot of money. Katie, her next career, she's actually going to be in the entertainer career. Um, the story of this sim is that, like, as part of the Not So Berry Challenge, um, is that they're sort of non-committal and also um, they want to do a lot of things. So they're in the doctor career because they're really, really smart. They've always been very smart. But they also love dancing. So they are a doctor for a long time. But then they have a midlife crisis and decide to join the entertainer career. So we'll do that next. <laughs> as soon as she becomes an adult, we'll switch. But I want to deliver a baby first. So actually, maybe not as soon as I become an adult. I'll deliver the baby first. I'll keep going to work until I have a baby. You mark my words. <laughs> I really want to. That would be so fun. Okay. I may feed the toddler too. Oh, there's lots of empty plates in here. Grab a serving. So yeah, I was using my hospital build. Um, I think I called it like Willow Creek Hospital or something. It's on my gallery, so you'll be able to find it. Okay. Your fun is so low again. At least we don't have work tomorrow. Do you want to woohoo with Bran? Get your fun up. <laughs> Does Raisin maybe want to raise chickens now? Oh god. I don't know. I've had chickens before. We still- I think I even still have some chickens in my inventory. Yeah, I do. From when Cottage Living first came out. But I got- I got sick of it. So I don't know. Are you gonna woohoo, please? Woohoo with Bran. Imagine Risky Woohoo acting right now. No, that's not funny. We actually can't joke about that. I don't think that it will happen, though. Stop sleeping! I'm trying to woohoo! Are you gonna woohoo? Okay. Okay. But Risky Woohoo's only 1%, so, like, the chances of them getting pregnant from this are very low. Very, very low. I'll have to check, though. <laughs> I will, I will click on raise it just to make sure. <laughs> um, MC command center, MC pregnancy. You did this! One percent! It's one percent! I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. It's one percent. It's one percent. Oh, it's 3%. It's 3%! <sighs> okay. And the fact that it's a boy as well. Four of them? I... Okay. <laughs> I wasn't even sure if I wanted three kids. I didn't even think I wanted three kids. I don't have enough space for this kid. I might need to kill, I might need to kill, uh, Grave. To get space. 
I'm sorry to say it, but... Oh no, and we're gonna have nine sims in the household! Oh, we have to kill Grave. Take in one for the team, okay? Kill Brandy Poops on the floor. Oh. He's old. Look. He should be dead already. What if I just jump in one time? Or like, no baby? Well, I could end the- Oh, you fell in? Oh, good God. Could you imagine if he died from this? Okay. Jump in. Jump in. Oh, not dead. Jump in. Jump in. No, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't, 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 don't! Oh no, I changed my mind. Okay, good. I changed my mind. I don't want to kill him anymore. I might kill Bran, though. This is no good. We have too many sims. How old are the pets? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I can't check that, can I? I was like, the pet has 10 days until becoming a teen? Just get rid of the baby? I mean, yeah, but it's kind of funny that we got pregnant with Risky Woohoo. Yeah, I should be able to check with MC Command Center, but wake up. Oh my god. Adult 14 out of 17. Okay. Cute the baby, kill Bran. I mean... We have to do something. We have to do something about this, because we can't have nine sims. We can't have nine sims. So, maybe I could, like, hmm, I don't know. Should we pull it for, like, who to die? That's bad. Yeah, I guess. Moving with his kids? I mean, I guess Grave will live- hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Grave will live long enough that we could move him out briefly until one of the pets dies. You know? So, we- we could- And then we don't have to worry about anything. You know? I'm sorry to do this, but <laughs> maybe maybe I'll just maybe I'll just make Poodle older. But that way, if we can move him out for a little bit, and then we'll bring him back. And he'll still be alive. And then no one has to die. But then he can hang out with the other kids for a little bit. Yeah, exactly. See, this is good. This is good. Poor dog. Well, the dog is gonna get old anyway. Like, this is your fault for making me have two pets. I, I don't like to have two pets. So you did this. You know? Blame yourselves. You have no one to blame but yourselves. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I have no one to blame but myself. What? I, I thought I just made her into an elder. I didn't know she was going to die. I just made her into an elder. I didn't... I didn't... How was I supposed to know what was gonna happen? I just, I, oh my god! Oh my god! This is bad! This is really bad! I didn't know! I didn't know! Did you know what was gonna happen? All I did was age the dog up into an elder! I went into cast, 
into an elder, came back, and now it's dead! I What am I supposed to do? Hold on, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it, it's fine. Oh my god, let me plead- you cannot do this. Oh my god. Can you? No? Can you? Oh my god. You can't plead for pets? Oh, I forgot that you can't plead for pets! I can't fix it! Oh my god. This is really bad. Like, really bad. Oh! Earl came! Earl came to help! Earl came to get her! That makes me feel better. Earl was our, our last pet. The one before Prune. Earl came to get her! That's kind of cute. Okay. Um. Um. So. I, uh, yeah, I know, Stacy. when you age someone up in Cass, it keeps, like, the number of days that they were, so, like, uh, Prune was 14 days as an adult, so when aged up into an elder, it was 14 days of an elder, but I didn't really think about the fact that the elder life stage is less than 14. Like, I knew that that was gonna happen, like, I knew it was gonna be the same, but in my head, it was just gonna be, like, at the end of the bar, like, like, in the same place on the bar. Like, mostly full, but not full. I- I didn't think that there was- I didn't really- I didn't really think about the fact that there was less than 14 days as an elder. So... Oops. Because <laughs> I knew that, but I didn't really, like, think it through. And now, um... <sighs> Yikes. Um, okay. This is- this is probably the worst thing that has ever happened to me <laughs> in The Sims. I'm not kidding. Like, this is the worst thing I have ever done by accident in this game, <laughs> by far. Uh, that was rough. That was- that was a rough one. So, um, I'm just gonna, you know, we- we- we move on. We move on. Everything's fine. And we- uh, what dog, you know? Carrot was younger than Prune, so Carrot has more time just in general, I think. So. Oh my god, that was bad actually, Panthers. I forgot about that. This one time, I tried to kill a sim using the rabbit, but like when you shift click on a sim and press like kill with rabbit, it killed the sim that I had selected and not the sim that I clicked on. So it like, it killed the wrong sim. A wrong sim got eaten by a rabbit. That was bad too. That that might have been actually worse than this. <laughs> that was rough. That was really bad. Did that happen to all of us? Yeah. Went into cast. Did that clear the pregnancy? Oh, I don't think so. Wake up. 
Don't clean out spoiled food. I keep trying to press MC Command Center. No, it's still there. Well, let's take a pregnancy test. You better be happy about this stupid baby. <sighs> I'm not. Okay. I don't really know what we're gonna do about the bedroom situation. So... Um... Let me think about this. So... I... Oh, they're all crying about it. Oh my god. Bunk beds? Well, we already have these two sharing a room. And now this one, like... I guess maybe... Mm, I'm trying to think if I could add a room somewhere. The house is not, like, really... No more office. Yeah, I mean, that's an easy thing, but I just have so many collectibles that I don't really want to... I don't really want to get rid of them, you know? I'm trying to think if maybe we could like, let me think about this. You say bunk beds? Yeah, I want to, I, we already have two kids sharing a room, so I'd like to not have to like make this one share, because this one's quite small. Um, okay, here's my new idea. I think I'm gonna, do some scooting of things. That could probably stay that way. So what we're gonna do is switch some stuff around, all right? This is gonna become a hall bathroom. So that way um, there's more space. And I am strongly considering, I am sorry to say, but I am strongly considering trying to turn, like, I'll, I'm gonna make another bathroom over here, right? But I'm wondering if maybe I can turn, like, you know, this into a bedroom or something for the baby. I don't know, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Sure is weird. It's also floating. But I feel like that might be an idea. You know? Room over the porch? Well, I'm thinking it's hard to like rework the floor plan like that if we use the porch. Because that was my first thought too. But then I figured it was going to be hard to rework the floor plan. This is a little bit easier with the floor plan because it already makes sense, you know? Um, I might have to put the litter box just in the hallway. That's okay. Okay, and we can switch this into an ensuite bathroom as well. And that'll be really nice. Okay. Okay. Think the cat is older? No, the cat is on day 14 of 21 of adulthood. So the cat's not really old at all. <laughs> the cat actually has a long way left. <laughs> How did the dog die? What dog? I don't remember a dog. <laughs> I don't think we had one. Yeah, that's weird that you thought we had a dog because I'm pretty sure we didn't. Yep, no dog. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember one, so. We've always had just one animal, the cat. No dogs. Never seen a dog, don't know what dog. There was dog? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm really stressed out right now. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss, thank you. Glad you understand. Um, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Actually, I have a really funny band of people that I wanted to show you guys. I won't, I won't tell you who this person is. But in their band appeal, speaking of Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss, ready? <clears throat> I'm sorry for saying negative things. I promise to not be mean or negative. I'm a very forgiving person. I worry this will be permanent and it will be held against me. And I wouldn't do that to you. I don't ban people. I would never ban people. If I had a Twitch channel, I don't hold what people do against them. I'm not saying you would. It's just, I know if you came to mine, you wouldn't want to be treated this way. I wouldn't ban you just because you were negative. All I'm saying is how, <laughs> all I'm saying is treat me how you would want to be treated. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. I didn't unban them. I probably should have them. You know, treat people how you want to be treated. So, <laughs> this really made my day. <laughs> I would never ban people. <laughs> ban appeals are so funny. Sometimes they're mean. That one was funny. <laughs> that one made my day. I feel like they probably would ban me. Like, if I went to their stream right now, I if I were them, let's just say this. If I were them and I got banned by me, I'd, I'd ban me back, so... But anyway. <laughs> Panel pills are so silly. Okay, um, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these decor items that I was previously using. Um, this room is like worse now. So I probably should try and like re-clutter it up, huh? Yeah, they're probably young. They're probably just young, um, but. <laughs> Just because you're young doesn't mean you can be mean to me. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, gu I'm guessing they're just young. Um, and they probably don't mean any harm, but... You know, we cannot just put up these things with, th with these things, you know? Okay, I wanted to steal this. And then... I mean... That's decently decorated, right? I like it. I like it. Let me see if I have space for this anywhere. Oh, I do. Okay, good. <laughs> Very good. Also, I have this. Oh, I probably should change the title of the stream to I Have 91 Graves. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, that's all decorated. I'm gonna need to, like, scoot this over. We're gonna have a new doorway, so that'll be kind of fun. This room has gotten a lot smaller. Um, that's also kind of fun, I guess. Fix that. And then I can scoot these over. So cute, me and Bran. And then this will be for the baby. What's that? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know if I can get it. Okay. Um, I don't really need to decorate the baby's room yet, but maybe I just will, you know? I guess we might as well. Um, I don't really like those. Do any of these come in a color that seems orange-like? That could be fun for the baby. Right? Okay. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> I need a bassinet too. I can't believe I'm having a baby. And also this is floating. It's a nightmare. Um, I can't really expand it either, cause like, I need my pond. It's really red, but okay. What do you mean? This is absolutely an orange toned color. My love, welcome to The Sims 4, where not everything has good swatches. <laughs> it's an orangey red. 
Can I put a column for support? I probably could, but I don't know if I like it. Maybe I'll put like um, something like this down here for support. Look, there, extra support. Okay, baby bassinet. Also, maybe like a patterned rug would be cute. Oh. oh no, I thought I almost rotated something just then. That was scary. Oh god, what did I do? Go back. Go back. Oh, okay. I like this one. That kind of matches too, doesn't it? There's a puddle. Yeah, there, this used to be a bathroom, so... <laughs> Maybe I'll have a sim come mop it. Here. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. This will be nice. Then the other two kids will share their room um, still, and then we'll have this one. Will you mop it, please? I'm not asking for a lot. Where's Prune? Uh, Prune. It's not really ringing a bell. I, I don't know who that is. What, what do you mean, Prune? Oh, do you mean, oh, do you mean my, my pet, the cat? Oh, the cat's name's actually Carrot. There's no one named Prune. Unfamiliar with that name. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. Um, never heard of it. Nope, nothing happened and I'm not familiar with, with that name. Nope. So. <laughs> okay, um, um, this is gonna be a nice little kid's room, okay? I'm gonna decorate it for a toddler and then we can like, just put a bassinet in it. That'll be nice, okay. Bassinet, and then I'll add some more toys and stuff once it gets a little older. Which bassinet should I use? Oh, that's kind of nice. It's yellow, not orange, but that's okay. Maybe I'll put it over here. Right? And then we can pick the little orange cat. We can get some cute little orange art. It's gonna be so good. Just you wait. Yeah, the yellow looks good with it, I think. I agree. Okay. Fairy orange. Um, ew. <laughs> I might use this. Hold on. That looks horrible not you using the same decor in all the kids' rooms. Bessie, I think all these rooms are quite different, considering they're all orange. I don't really think these are similar at all. The pictures? Yeah, so? There's not a lot of orange pictures. The rooms themselves are very different. Um... <gasps> Rocket, that's cool. Let's get like a little mirror too. Um, that comes in orange. <laughs> Is there anything else that might work? Like, oh, how about that thing? Okay, that'll do for now. And we'll add to it once the baby is like actually born because <laughs> there is no baby yet. <laughs> so we don't need to worry about that. All right, let's put up some New Year's Eve decorations. And I'm gonna spend the day trying to get these kids to be friends with each other. So that's my goal. Okay. Enthused about candy. 
throw New Year's Eve confetti, talk about school. I want to be best friends. How close do you have to be to be best friends? Um, get to know, maybe? Become partners in crime? Isn't partners in crime different than BFF? I'm level 5 with a social skill. The lighting in the hallway glitched. Oh no. It did. Why? I know I know what Partners in Crime does. I'm I'm asking isn't that different from BFFs? Cuz the aspiration says BFFs. The stair has no ceiling. Oh, do you think that's what it is? That there's not ceiling over on top of this? That might be it. It's different. That's what I Yeah, it is different. So Okay. It's fixed now. We need to be BFFs. That is the goal. Hug. Um, debate existence of vampires. Um, extend the portion of the bump out. Oh, friend, I'm not changing this because I, I need to have um, my pond here. Just ignore it if it bothers you. <laughs> I'm not changing it because I need to have the pond there. I need to make sure I have space for it. There we go, become best friends forever. Yay! We need to make some more friends, and then we need to achieve level 10 of the social skill. That's gonna take ages. That's gonna take ages! It's extending it, get rid of the pond? Well, uh, the, it would get into the pond. Obviously I could scoot the pond forward, but this tree is enormous and it's in the way when there's leaves on it. Guys, I'm not gonna change it, okay? Um, it's, uh, it's just, we're gonna leave it like this so I have space. I can't extend it far enough out and then still have space for the pond, so. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. It's fine how it is. It's just a weird little thing. And that's okay. It happens. All right, would you like to take a shower? Oh, you can repair this. Oh no, actually replace it because we're rich. And then you can shower. Um, your husband is asking whether the not so buried challenge isn't in Rainbow Order. Well, that's not the point of it. Um, the point of it has to do, so we picked the, um, the color scheme based on traits. So, like, in the Not So Berry Challenge, if you ever looked at the rules, um, like, the first gen is mint, right? And so all of the traits, believe it or not, are green. <laughs> uh, the mint gen is vegetarian, jealous, and materialistic. Um, and that was kind of, like, the inspiration behind it. Um, and then the same thing goes for like the other generations. We tried to pick a color that matched the traits. Obviously they aren't all perfect, but like the yellow gen is clumsy and ambitious. Um, and so there, it's a combination of, of that and then also like the story of it all. Um, like this sim wants to do this because of what their, you know, grandparent was like. So, you know, you put it in an, an order that is related to like the storyline more so than it's related to the color of the rainbow. Um, does that make sense? Um, but that's not, that's, so that's why it's not in Rainbow Order, because it's about, like, generation order. <laughs> um, but it seems like kind of random colors, yeah, but, um, that's why. That's why. Um, okay. Use the puppets for social skill. Oh, that's kind of fun. But yeah, so same thing, like, the plum gen is a dance machine and a genius. Um, those things are both kind of purpley traits. Non-committal isn't purple, obviously, but... Um, so that's, that's why they all have traits that kind of match the color scheme that they're in. And that's what the storyline is based on, so. Okay, would you like to cook, or you're gonna eat afterward? Someone else can cook some extra food for breakfast. You can clean out the spoiled food and cook a... Cook... But yeah, if you wanted to play in Rainbow Order, you totally could. That's just the order that made the most sense to us when we were writing it, so. Um, garden salad. How about that? How about that? Non-committal. Well, uh, Pullen, she's uh, divorced her husband and then remarried him. <laughs> so.
So, we're, you know, we're, she's an interesting character, to say the least. Okay, let's get that, like, that uh, puppet thing that you guys were talking about. Um, decide on which colors to name the gens. I don't know. I think it just, I think we were just trying to be artsy. And do, like, mint instead of green. Well, we also have mint and green, don't we? But I think we're just trying to be artsy. I don't know why we called it plum and not purple. But we did. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but I think we we're just trying to be artsy with it. For whatever reason. Um, I think I like this purple, too. Looks cute. Yeah, it's more specific. Same thing with, like, rose instead of red. I think that it's just prettier, you know? Maybe that's why I did it. It was like six years ago. <laughs> I was 17, I don't know. <laughs> this is cute. I never use this item. I guess it's also like the berry challenge, so. I don't know. Um, it's called the not so berry challenge because at the time, berry sims were really trendy. Um, and these are, are not berry sims. They're like, not quite berry sims, but they're similar because they're like a color theme. Berry sims would be like if you made a strawberry sim and they had like all pink skin, pink hair, pink, 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 like, you know, berry sims were like similar to not so berry, but I don't know, more. Because <laughs> you were trying to make like a berry sim. Imagine what you think a berry sim is, that's what a berry sim is. But at the time it was kind of trendy, so we were just playing on it a little bit, you know? Um, but if you weren't around in the Sims community, and like on Tumblr, like six years ago, you wouldn't know. But what, imagine what you think a Berry Sim is, that's what a Berry Sim is. <laughs> um, they were really popular in The Sims 3 as well, when we had a color wheel, as you can imagine. Um, so that's what that is, though. Okay. Go away. Are you eating? Yes, how long until you age up? Oh, not enough time. Or too much time, I should say. Okay, Bran, you want to shower? Do you want to, like... Gray is kind of a very sim. Yeah, actually, the gray gen kind of is. <laughs> um, but yeah, berry sims, they're not, like, uncommon now. I think they just aren't maybe as trendy as they used to be. Um, but anyway, some people play not so berry with berry sims. Um, and, like, really go all out with it. So, um, it's all just up to how you want to play, basically, you know? It's one of those things. There's no right or wrong way. It's just how you want to do it, isn't it? Um, take a bath. Yes? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. Hurry up. 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 Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my god, you cannot be serious. You actually are not being serious right now. Oh my god, you're not serious. Oh my god. Put the kid out! <sighs> the Sims name is Blaze, by the way. Um, wow. <laughs> I might cry. <laughs> I think you're taking your name a little too seriously there, buddy. Uh, you might need to calm down. Okay, I'm gonna take him to the park this afternoon. We're going to the park, we're gonna try and make some friends. Is there a fire resistance trait? Yeah, I think so. I have to check. I don't remember. We wouldn't have enough points for it anyway. But, um... Should we come here? Let's go. Oh, wow. <sighs> okay. Okay. All this fire inspires him. Oh, you get it from completing the gardening aspiration. Oh. Oh. 
Does the next gen have to stay with the parents till the parents die? No, you don't have to. That's kind of what's like traditional for a legacy challenge, but there's not like a right or wrong way to do it. Oh, the same that I was gonna date aged up or befriend or whatever. I wasn't sure if I wanted to date them or not. Oh well, we can do that when we get to be young adult. Um, but yeah, you don't have to like stay with the same Sims until they age up or whatever. I mean, it's really up to you. You can just um, play with whoever, move out whoever, it, you know, it's up to how you want to play. So there's not like a wrong way to do it. It is all up to you. Uh, talk about friends, talk about toys. I don't know. I guess they can still be friends even with the age up. I just feel kind of weird. Like, like being friends with a teen when my sim is like eight, you know? Obviously it would be a normal just talking to someone I used to be friends with as a kid kind of vibe, but it just feels weird. You know? Because the teens are like the same size as adults. It just feels... It's... I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're not even becoming friends right now, so this is not going well. Apologize. Why don't you like me? You wanna take some selfies? Please. Please. The other kids in the club are our cousins. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Sing about New Year's Eve. Talk about friends. Come on. Maybe befriend again? Iris Gold, come on. Try again. <laughs> Taking selfies is like the only way to make friends in this game. Do you have to give a makeover to the Sims partner once they enter the household? Um, do you mean like to make them like a berry Sim? No, uh, I don't. I mean, this there's not really like specifics. I I think that um I I play with and write rules to this challenge in a way that is a lot less like specific than some legacies are. This is it's very much like it is specific in the sense that like you have certain traits you need to have and stuff. But in regards to like how you want to play the game, like do you want to move the grandparents out? Do you want to? You know, how do you want to pick your heir? All of that is really up to you. Uh, even down to like, if you don't want to go all out with the orange and have like an orange house, you don't have to do that. You know, I think it's fun. Um, I think it's fun. So <laughs> it's just, um, it's just up to you and like how you want to do it. There's not like a specific way to do it. Um, come on. Come on. Whatever is fun is, is the right way to do it. Okay. Take some more photos. I'm just gonna try and get my cousins to be my friends. And then I can leave. Come on, take more selfies. Is this the park you built? I did build this park, but I built this a couple years ago. This is the one that I built like last week on stream. Um, okay. Let's go back home, shall we? Shall we? Am I gonna make a new house for the orange gen when Blaze becomes a young adult? Yeah, Cookie, that's how we play. Actually, the um, orange gen sim is supposed to live in a needs TLC apartment for the majority of their young adult life. Um, so we'll do that. I'm 23 now, Toad. So I made this challenge like six years ago. <laughs> um, it's not its not exactly a recent one. <laughs> um, okay. I was still in high school when I made it. Okay. You are home. You could probably, what's TLC mean? Oh, um, I don't know what TLC stands for, but needs TLC is a lot trait on the apartments from City Living. Um, and the needs TLC apartments are like um, tender loving care. There you go. 
Uh, but the Needs TLC apartments, they are like bad apartments. Like they have things break a lot in them. Like there's like pipes that will have gas leaks and they have like rat infestations. Like the Needs TLC apartments are like the kind of not good apartments in San Myshuno, the pack that, or the world that came with City Living. Um, so it kind of needs TLC sort of just means like it needs work. If you were to say like, oh, you know, I, I bought a house, but it kind of needs some TLC. Like you just mean like, oh, maybe it needs to be updated a little. Um, so yeah, but the, the problem with that apartment lot trait is that it's one of the ones that you can't remove. So if your Sim lives in a lot that has that lot trait, they're stuck with it. <laughs> you can't get rid of it. It's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, it kind of just means like it needs some love, needs some fixing up. Uh, make a resolution. Yours can be to raise a skill. How about that? Yours can be, I'm just gonna have them all make one to raise a skill. It's one of the easiest ones. Raise a skill. Raise a skill. Okay. Okay. Is it a lot challenge? No, Rosie, because it's not like a lot trait that you can pick. You know how in San Myshuno there's a few um, there's a few things that are stuck. The needs TLC one isn't like a thing that you can choose because those needs TLC apartments, I can show you one of them, hold on. The needs TLC apartments are like specific um, in like what they include. So they have like the pipes and things and the vents in the floor that can break and that you need to like call the landlord to help fix. Um, or like they have like the rat holes and stuff. So it isn't a thing that you can like set on your own lot at home. It's specific to those apartments and you also can't remove the lot trait. Um, so the ones that are needs TLC in San Myshuno, if you're familiar with this apartment, um, do you see how it has that needs TLC lot trait? And also this one is a needs TLC apartment. Um, so they've kind of decorated it to be kind of stinky, like it has the dirty carpet and stuff, but if you actually go in there, oh, and the body outline one, that's true. Yeah, the body outline one also, um, which sounds scary. I'll show you that one next. Um, if you actually come in here, I'll show you the like items that come in these apartments that are like involved in it. Um, come on. So in this apartment, there's like, um, do you see like these rats and this vent and like this, um, the like breaker box, this thing can break. Um, these pipes can break and like leak. Um, this thing can break. Obviously like the place has kind of like not so great appliances and stuff um, and it's got rats. So you have like issues with, with those things happening to your sim. Um, so it's like cheap, but you know, it's got problems. <laughs> um, it's cheap, but it's not so nice to live in. So it's it also kind of like, isn't that fun to live in because it's so nightmarish. The other one that is needs TLC, where am I going? It's this one. This one's also needs TLC. And this one has a uh, body outline under the rug. I'll show you. A lot of people don't know this. So, yeah, and it like stinks sometimes. So your Sims get like bad moodlets from it. Um, but look at this. Underneath this rug in here, in this apartment, oh, you can kind of see it. There's like a body outline, but you can't get rid of it. You can't click on it and move it. Um, and you can't remove the like lot tray either. It's one of the ones that can't be removed. A lot of the, the apartments, so they added lot traits for the first time in city living. That was like when we got it. Um, and so some of them are stuck in the apartments. So like one of them is like permanently haunted. There's some that have like plaques on the wall cause they're historic apartments. Um, this one is like loud cause you've got like a party neighbor. So it's always loud. You can't remove that lot trait either. And then obviously you can add extra if you wanted to, but there's a couple like special ones that are locked to certain lots for like stories, cause it's kind of challenging to live there. Um, but you think it's an oversight for the lot challenge update? I don't know. I don't think it's an oversight from the lot challenge update. I think that those things just aren't the same as lot challenges. Cause they're like really specifically locked on traits um, to those specific lots. Like they're trying to tell the story 
that like if you live here, this apartment belongs to Penny Pizzazz. At least it's it's empty now because she's dead. Um, when Sims die, they take their stuff with them. It's kind of annoying. But this one belongs to Penny Pizzazz, so this has like the live lively neighbors lot trait. So like they're trying to tell a story that if you live here, you're gonna have loud neighbors. So they don't want you to change it. So it's not like part of the lot challenges because it's different. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but. The stuck traits are kind of fun for the apartments, so. I don't know, it's cute. Yeah, I wish that you could like go back and fix it up. Cause you can't, like in the Needs DLC apartments, they're just like that. Like they're just bad and you can't like do anything to fix it. But I guess they're trying to tell the story that like you've got a terrible landlord and you live in this cheap apartment with your terrible landlord. And like, it's not your problem to fix it, it's theirs, and they just won't fix it, because they suck. Like, I think that's what they're trying to say, but it's just different from The Sims, because like, in The Sims, you own everything. It's not like you're living and renting something, you know? You actually own it. But, it'd be nice if you could like, I don't know, fix the rat infestation or something. <laughs> um, but that's that's kind of the story they're trying to tell. I do like it though. It's kind of fun to like obviously not in real life, but in the Sims, it's kind of fun to have your sim live in like a not so great apartment. Again, in real life, not so fun. <laughs> in real life, we don't want our sims to live in a not so great apartment. Or in real life, we don't want to live in a not so great apartment, but for your sims to struggle, it's kind of exciting. You know? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna send all these kids to bed, probably. Well, actually, the older kids could probably stay up and watch the New Year's Eve TV. If you want to. That would be cute. How long till the baby's here? Oh, good question. The baby will be here third trimester in 16 hours, so not quite yet. But soon. But soon. Um, hey, girl, and Glory, and Lady, and Emma, and Vegan, and Kira, and Petal, thank you all for the subs, by the way. Okay. I haven't lived in a Needs CLC apartment for like an extended period of time in a while, so it'll actually be kind of fun when we move out with, um, with Blaze into that apartment. Oh, wait, it's almost midnight. Ready? Happy New Year! Okay. Let's go to bed then. Use the bathroom, sleep. Woo! <laughs> um, all right. You can probably go to sleep too. Did I restart Not So Berry? What do you mean? Like recently? Cause no, I'm on, this is gen five almost six of Not So Berry. Uh, but I did restart Not So Berry as in like, um, from when I first played it years ago. This is like a different save and different family and stuff. Um, okay, are you gonna go to bed? I might cheat some of their needs down. Yeah? Come on. So that way they'll sleep through the night, maybe? Maybe? Oh, it's so weird when they're all like full. Okay, you go to sleep too. Everyone away, to bed, save game. Okay. How are you on gen 15 of the only 10? Oh, so I, I um, played a different legacy first. I started this like within the middle of a different family. Um, so I, I played like, um, I played a regular legacy challenge, 10 generations of it. And then I decided I wanted to keep playing in this save. So I did. And now, um, and now we're on Gen 15. So I, I played like a regular Legacy first. And then on Gen 11, I started Gen 1 of Not So Berry. So that's why. Family tree is ridiculous at this point. <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> um, okay. Everyone to bed, please. Thank you. Oh, it's corn. Oh, this is corn too. It's grilled chicken with some corn. Okay. Everyone can sleep now, please. Faith and Jess, thank you for the subs. Can we adopt corn? No, because we are gonna have eight Sims in our household when the baby is born. So I can't get my um 
Unfortunately, I cannot get my ghost dog back. So. Okay, bye, Shella. Thank you for hanging out. I'll see you later. Maybe I'll check some of these neighborhood stories while they're sleeping. I haven't checked in a while. When this first came out, I checked it like every day. And now I kind of like have gotten back into forgetting. Uh-oh, Ben slipped while rock climbing? I don't know, Ben. Babies, babies, babies. Uh-oh, Jean died. That's rough. Dogs were adopted. Kill Sim, adopt dog. I don't need another pet. I. Uh oh. This person got on the bad side of a chicken. That is rough. Okay. Okay. Grave, would you like to. Oh, you didn't sleep all the way through the night for once. That's funny. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay. Um. I guess I'll spend today trying to work on social skill for my sim. We need to make another friend who's a child. And then we need to become friends with a couple of adults. Do my grandparents count? I don't know if I'm close friends with... I don't think you are. Oh no, you are. Well, maybe I can try. I don't know. I don't know. Just hurry up and sleep. Did Snap just scratch? What, in real life? No, she's not in here. It must have been like the cat. It might have been the cat in game, to be honest. <laughs> this is my longest family in The Sims. Yeah, I've, I've never played with a family for 15 generations. This is the first I've ever played this long with a save before. Um, 15 is a lot. <laughs> I've, I've never played this far with, uh, with one Sims family. So it's kind of fun. Yeah, pets can only die of old age. Yeah. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try and go to 26 babbling, I think. After we finish Not So Berry, we'll do something else. I might do some, like, career legacy stuff or something, because we can try and get the, um, there's an achievement for playing through 26 generations, so I think I might try and get it. That could be kind of fun. Okay, D actually don't use that toilet. Use this toilet. Go to bed. Okay. Okay. After not so very well, you go back to short lifespan. Ooh, depends what we do. Um, I suppose it depends what we decide we wanna do. Let me see if I can add some more kids into that club. Kaylin Granola would be a cousin. Um, another Kaylin. <laughs> How many Kaylins are there? Oh, Brayden has cheese hair. Maybe I'll get the cousin too. Let's go to the park. Um, cheese hair is a green flag. I agree. I'm gonna try and befriend Brayden. <laughs> Rachel, Quillen, Faith, thank you for the subs. Always go for the cheese hair. Maybe we could marry him. Blaze and Brayden. Oh, that's cute. That's kind of like... I don't know. It's a nice... Rip to Sawyer. Well, we could still... Maybe we could date Sawyer when we're older. Let's talk about toys. Mock outfit. No, don't do that. <laughs> Talk about best color. <laughs> That's funny, get it? Because we're like in the not so berry challenge. Aw, Brayden seems kind of cute. Can you take some more selfies? We're all sad. It's honestly, we could bond over this. Perfect match. <laughs> we're all sad. Okay, that's my third friend. I do need to like, talk to you. Discuss interests, console about death, talk about best color, 
share secret, complain about problems. I don't know. I'm just gonna try and get my social skill up higher. Kids gain social skill like really fast. Discuss sad mood. Oh, I didn't go to work with Raisin. Oh, I was gonna. Oops. Wait, do you have work tomorrow? Yeah, okay, I'll go tomorrow. Ask about day, talk about toys, tell make-believe story. I don't know. I'm supposed to be evil. Try to cheer up, how about that? Did that work? Reach social level eight. That's pretty good. Okay. I want to try and get us level 10, because I would really benefit from finishing the, asp the aspiration, because we would get the um, socially gifted reward trait. Uh, ask for typing tips. Should I? Oh, hello. Random sim. Should we go into cast and see what this kid's like? Um, cast off full edit mode. Okay. How are we gonna celebrate the 100 graves? I don't know. I feel like I should make a YouTube video about it. You know? Like, when I get my 100th grave, I should make a big deal about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. There's plenty of them. So no one's gonna, like, die and get stuck alone. I wanna age him up just to see. Come on, Naga. He's cute. He's also a glutton, which is the same as me. Should I pick something else? You're <laughs> evil, which is the same as me. <laughs> oh no. Slav, that's not a good one. Should I keep it? Maybe we could be a slob. It's a bad trait, but not the same bad traits as me. You know? You don't like blue. Okay, thankfully not orange. You like Latin pop music. And you enjoy cross-stitching! Glutton is fine. Yeah, but I already- my sim is gonna be glutton too. That's one of the orange gen traits. So I don't really want to have like the sims have the same traits. You know, because I find it kind of boring to play with sims that have the same- I'd rather have like more traits. It's more different- personality types in a household, you know? Um, I don't really want to have the same ones, because then it's not as fun. Did I delete more household members? Oh god, I might have. But Grave's gonna be a slob and he'll be around still? Oh no, you're right. Creative. Adventurous. Bookworm. Mean? Ugh. Well, what's a, like... Hey, how about this? How about this? How about this? What if we did, like, um... Hmm... Has to be a trait that's available for kids, though. Maybe we could be... I don't know. Oh, hey, Kayla! Welcome to the stream! I'll show you my graves in a second. I've got 91 now. I'm just trying to decide what I want this kid's traits to be, because I might have my... Kleptomaniac. We could be a thief. I think being a thief is kind of fun. Let's be a thief. Okay. I'll, st I'll steal stuff. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> My Sims evil, his future husband's gonna be a thief, and they'll be- Do you know what's so funny, actually? The whole storyline of this generation of Not So Berry is that My Sim is evil and in the criminal career. And, like, wants to be evil so bad, but nobody believes that he's evil. Like, the whole thing is, like, no, you're, like, not good at being evil. You suck at being evil. Maybe his husband is, like, actually bad. <laughs> his husband is, like, the one that's really, like, you know, a thief and stuff. That's funny. I like that. Okay. This is a good plan. This is a good plan. Here's my graves. <sighs> so... Thanks for the raid, by the way, Kayla. I hope you had a good stream. And my chat, if you don't follow my friend Kayla on Twitch already, please do. You'll really enjoy her streams. Um, and Art, thank you for the gifted subs. And Julia, thank you for the 19 months, too. Why don't I put background music? I've got some. 
It's quiet, I guess, maybe for you. But it's very loud in my ears. It's The Sims 2 soundtrack. I play it every day on stream. I just play it quietly because there's only so much of it I can take. There's only so much you can handle. So. Okay, let's try and befriend that kid. Oh, he might be gone. No, he's over there. Okay. I'm trying to get my social skill up really high. Make fun of adults. Talk about toys. And maybe after this, I can go try and find, like, my... My aunts. And try and be friends with them. Because then I can get friends with two adults for the aspiration. You know? Okay. It worked! I cheered him up! Okay. Are you gonna build a big graveyard when you finish the legacy? I actually really enjoy having um, a graveyard in my front yard. It's really funny to me. So... I don't know if I would ever do it somewhere else. Where... is Wisteria? Here's a random sim, Paulina. Um... I tried to invite over... Maybe she is here. Focus the camera. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try and befriend her. This is my aunt, so... I need to befriend some sims to get... Uh, my aspiration complete. Will you take some- oh, I can't take photos with adults. Oh. That's gonna make it hard to befriend them. That's so annoying. When was the last time I went on Tumblr? Oh god. Like, probably years ago. That place became very bad for my mental health. I was in a really bad place, and... I was getting a lot of uh, anonymous <laughs> hate on Tumblr. And then even when I turned off anonymous asks, it was still unpleasant, so I... Um, yeah, I don't go on there anymore. That was years ago, though. That was, like, when I was a freshman in college. I had other stuff going on. I bet, like, looking back on that, it probably wasn't even that bad, like, compared to what I deal with now. But I was young and in a really bad place for other reasons. <laughs> so Tumblr was not a good addition to my life, so I, um... I had to leave. <laughs> I had to leave. Okay. Joke about gross food. Oh, I mastered the social skill already? That seemed like too easy. Okay. Better these days? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Um, and I'm sure I could handle it better now as an adult as well. I, was, I mean, I was like 18, but it's just a child, isn't it? Well, that worked. I'm friends with her now. Um, okay, maybe I could invite over... Is there anywhere else? Any other adult sim that I can try and take photos of would be good. That would be good. Um, yeah, I know, seriously, it's, like, it's such a, uh, a big difference. I mean, in a good way, right? <laughs> um, I've, I've changed a lot, obviously, since I first started making YouTube videos. I was so young, so. Okay. Okay. Take a photo of this person so I can try and finish the aspiration. We still have five days. This is great. Take photo. No, I want to take a photo of you. Stand up. It's very important. Um, can we chat here? Stand up. Stand up. Why don't you like me? I'll reset you if I have to. Take, no, don't take selfie. Take photo of this person. Okay, there we go. Should be friends with him now. Nope, it didn't count. I gotta do one more. Stay there, stay there. 
I'm just taking photos of you, buddy. This is not a good idea to take photos of random people in the park. Well, I finished the social butterfly aspiration. So, I could probably pick a different one, maybe the motor skills one. That'll be good. Okay. I feel great. Sell those photos? Yeah, I should probably get rid of them, huh? Oh, I have a lot of pictures. Maybe it, maybe it would be better if I just went home and put up the ones that I do want to keep and then sold the rest. It would be easier. Seems like a better idea. Yes. <laughs> Lauren, Matt, how do you thank you for the subs, by the way? I really appreciate that. Okay. Can he be fire resistant now? I don't... Someone said that the fire resistant trait is, um is one that you get from finishing the gardening aspiration. So, oh, sorry, it didn't mean to yawn, but I don't know if, um, I don't know if it'll, if I'll be able to do it, because we're gonna deal with not so very different aspirations, so. And obviously he's only a child right now, so. <laughs> okay, let's go put our photos up. We have some cute pictures of us and some friends. So at the very least, like, the picture of me and my brother would be so cute to put on this little shelf. And then maybe... This is the guy that I want to date, so... Maybe I could put that on the other shelf. That's cute. Right? Oh, fireproof is a satisfaction point reward? Oh, good. Let's look. There's heat proof, but that's only from like the temperature. I think that I think that the naturalist fireproof one is is the one, and that's the one from gardening. So I don't know if we'll be able to get it, unfortunately. Would you like to get some leftovers? Oh, me clicking order delivery. I think I'm gonna order food for dinner tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna. I decided just now. Why do we need fireproof? Oh, it, it would just be funny because my sim's name is Blaze. And also he seems to keep catching on fire, but they all catch on fire. What are you gonna get? I don't know. I'll have to ask Dan what he wants and see if I agree. <laughs> I'm not sure, so I'll see if he's got a good idea. Um, but I think I might order food tonight. I don't, I don't have any desire to cook right now. I've had really horrible cramps all day, and frankly, I don't want to stand up and cook. So, I won't. I could make Dan do it, or I could have an excuse to order food. So, <laughs> I'll take the excuse. <laughs> that sounds like fun to me. <laughs> Alright, how are you doing at work today, Raisin? Horribly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um, would you like to... Could not stream with cramps. Oh, it's not been as bad since I went live. I did really consider that I was not going to be able to stream today. <laughs> that was like a thought that I had. I was like, I don't know if I can manage this. Um, but it's not been as bad since I went live. Maybe I'm distracted. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's been better than it was this morning. So that's good. Um, do I have a heating pad? Yeah, Emily, if you're debating getting one, you probably should. It's really useful. <laughs> really useful. All right, how pregnant are we? Give birth any second. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta we gotta think about this. So we already have Blaze, Garfield, and Cheddar. And we're having a fourth boy. And we need an orange themed name. So... I don't know. Pumpkin? We thought about pumpkin before. Ember? Mango? Carrot? We already have a cat named Carrot. Somebody the other day said Ed Sheeran. And that really amused me. So. Copper? Oh, Copper's kind of cute. But. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I might name it Ed Sheeran. 
it kind of amuses me. So I might do it. Ed Sheeran is perfect. I think I might. I think I might do it. I think I might do it. Okay, I made a cake. There you go. Take a piece. You're welcome. Does anybody else need any food? No? You do, but you're eating. You're fine. You're fine. No, their first name is gonna be Ed Sheeran. Like, full first name, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran Potts. <laughs> Ed Sheeran Potts will be their name. Okay. Okay. Are we all taking care of ourselves? Are you gonna eat? What are you doing? Finish eating! Oh my god. I'll put this away. Okay. Okay. You could probably go to sleep. It's 10 o'clock. We got school tomorrow. Take a shower. Go to sleep. Rusty Potts was funny. I don't want to name... The thing is, Rusty's like the name of my sim from my YouTube series, X. So like the name Rusty is kind of tainted. Cause like Blue almost married a guy named Rusty. And... <laughs> eh, you're really feeling yam? <gasps> yam. All of a sudden, yam is really exciting me. Oh no, do we do Yam or Ed Sheeran? Yam is just a really funny word. And we used to have a sim named Jam. So it's kind of like a family name. You don't get it? Oh, it's just yams are like a vegetable that are kind of orange. And, and yam just sounds funny. Oh no. Okay, can we do a poll and we'll vote between Yam and Ed Sheeran? Because I actually am not sure. I honestly don't know. I'm I'm not certain. So what you whatever you guys think we'll do. But that is funny. Oh Yam's winning by a lot. <laughs> You're leaning towards Yam? I think Yam is quite funny. Because it is funny how it's like a family name and everything. Like, it, I don't know. We'll decide. The baby's not actually born yet, so we'll think about it once it's actually born. Yam Sheeran. We can't just do both. <laughs> we have to pick one. I'm worried it's going to be too long anyway if we try and add all those characters in. So, okay, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Save. <laughs> Yam is good because it's kind of a name. Okay, well by that logic, dare I say, Ed Sheeran is also a name. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> they both sound like names. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, no, that was funny. That was funny. Yam is Yam is a funny one. I do think that Yam fits in better with like our more recent names. Like, and Yam won the poll. We'll have Blaze, Garfield, Cheddar, and Yam. The last two kids have really been um They're different. They're just different. <laughs> Okay, go to sleep, everybody. I forgot about you. Here, I'll cheat it a little. I deserve it. You should have eaten. Why didn't you? By the time I get to this many kids, I'm over it, you know? Okay, sell that. Are you gonna go back to bed? You have school. Oh my god, it's because the ghost keeps crying in my bed. Imagine you can't sleep because a ghost keeps crying in your bed. I'm allowed to cheat that. That's not fair. I can cheat my energy a little. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? <sighs> okay, as soon as somebody wakes up, I'll do a little cleaning routine. This is unbelievable. 
Okay, hurry up. Should I save again? Probably. It's not cheating if it's in the game? Well, it's only in the game because I have a mod for it. But you're right, it's not cheating if it's in the game. Absolutely. <laughs> Casey, Ernie, Rin, and Chloe, and Ailey, and Kate, thank you for the subs. Okay. I want the baby born, like, really badly. Hurry up! Okay, I started the cleaning routine. Yeah, I made a bedroom for the fourth kid. We have a little space right here for them. So we should be good there. You can eat the rest of this cake. How about that? Okay, I'm quite excited about this. Um... Okay, do you want to cook something? Clean out spoiled food. Cook. Come on. Do you want to make some... How about some salad? I tried to make some yesterday and then it didn't work. That's an easy one to cook, so... Okay. <laughs> Sally, Casey, Yana, and Ernie, thank you for the subs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, I'm in labor. Oh my god, since when? Oh, just now? Okay. Well, let's go! Time for Yam to be born! <laughs> Yam is on the way! I kind of like the name. I think it's cute. Yam. Yay! Congratulations, little one. You are born. I'm, I'm quite excited about that, actually. <laughs> How many kids do we need to have in the plum gen? Oh, you don't, there's not like a number. Um, we have four. I only wanted to have three, but then I got pregnant by accident. So. <sighs> next time, next babies, we're only gonna have two. So. That'll be good. We're gonna have twins. Blaze is only gonna have twins. And actually, Blaze's kids, I'm gonna wait. Like, if I know Blaze is gonna have kids soon and the baby update's not out yet, I'm gonna, like, we're gonna make sure Blaze has kids with the baby update. So, that's the plan. Um, oh, I'm gonna go to work with Raisin today. Oh, no, you're gonna have given birth today and then immediately go to work? Yikes. Okay. Take a shower. Get that up a little bit. Okay, now can you come watch the TV for a second? Just before work, hurry to get like a little bit of fun up. Just a little bit, any little bit helps. Okay, good. There we go, join. Okay. Brave of you to raise twins as infants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we have to have twins for the orange gen. And they're gonna be in a needs TLC apartment. We're gonna play the infant update on extreme mode, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to start working on this. Add new studies to medical journal. Sure. Can't wait for that chaos. We're gonna have a rough day. We are gonna have a rough day. This might be our last day. We're oh no, we got a couple more days. It might be our last day working as this career, but I don't know. Um, let me start taking care. Oh, I need to practice bioanalysis. Oh, it's trying to make me do like not patient care today. Look at that. Oh, we maxed the logic skill. That's pretty good. Chat with a patient. You want me to chat with a patient? Okay. We haven't delivered a baby yet. No, I haven't I haven't had someone come um <gasps> deliver baby in surgery table. Oh my god. Wait. A pregnancy has arrived at the hospital. What do I do? Uh 
It's, it must be you. But you also seem sick. Unless there's somebody else. I guess I need to admit you. Admit patient to exam bed. Unless the surgery table has a- no. It takes a second? Oh, maybe I'll just wait. Maybe I'll just wait then, because it takes a second. Okay. I'll, uh, calibrate the x-ray machine. They're not here yet? Oh, it's just a different pregnant sim? Okay. I was gonna say, she looks like she's sick. She's probably here because she's sick. Maybe we just know the baby- the person is coming with the baby. Okay, would you like to... Swab for sample? Oh yeah. Code watermelon. A pregnant sim has just arrived at the reception area, ready to give birth. Raisin, please hurry and prep for baby delivery. Get her into the first available surgery table before the delivery. Okay, I'm ready. I'm going. I'm going. Oh yeah, here we go. Give baby, give baby. Code watermelon. Oh my god. The fact that I gave birth this morning, and now you're giving birth. <laughs> what a day we've had. Just this morning I was, I was having my own baby. And now here I am at work. We are creating life. <laughs> this is kind of exciting. Yay! Oh no, it's gone! Wait, I want to see it! I want to know what the baby's name is. Well, here, I'm gonna like... Ask about day. I want to get to know this sim. Don't leave me! Maybe you want to go home to your baby. Okay, that's... Uh, sure. I need to calibrate an x-ray machine. That was interesting. That happened like really fast. <laughs> What are you doing eating? Calibrate the x-ray machine. You're not gonna finish the work day. Okay, maybe I can't. Maybe I'll just analyze the patient sample. This is not going well. <sighs> All right, we'll finish that. I'll see if I can get through the whole work day. I might get promoted today. This is kind of a miracle. Log the sample analysis results. Okay. Come on. We might get level 10. Maybe I'll, um, we're supposed to have a midlife crisis and switch careers, but maybe I'll wait until I get level 10 to do it. Cause I would feel really good about myself if I finished it all and like got all the way to level 10, you know? Cause we're level eight, gonna be level nine probably today. You know, so we probably should just go until 10. Even though she's gonna age up in like two days. And we're supposed to like switch when she ages up, but... I feel like it's fine. You know? It'll be fun to get level 10. And then quit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that seems like a really terrible idea, but um, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Quit while you're ahead, exactly. Also, I don't think the rules like specifically say that you have to quit like on your birthday. And even if they did, it's my challenge, so. What do the rules say exactly? What's the wording? Um, you work as a doctor for much of your life, but as an adult, realize that your true dream is to become a professional dancer. You quit your job and join the entertainer career. Yeah, there's no, there's no, like, specifics on when you switch. So. I think any time is fine. Any time should be fine. It just says as an adult. So at any point in your life, as an that could even be young adult if you wanted it to be. In my opinion, you should do whatever you want. Run test to find diagnosis. Diagnose a patient. Um, I'll diagnose a patient. Is it right? I don't know. I'm not gonna treat you though, cause I don't wanna risk it. So I'm just gonna analyze patient sample. 
My Sim's a young adult, but we're gonna become an adult in two days. We're only a young adult right now. We sorta, um, gave ourselves more time by getting pregnant again by accident, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we can't be having any medical mal malpractice today because I'm trying to get promoted. I got a skelly sim! Oh my god. I'm gonna start keeping that forever. Okay. Okay. A skelly sim, I think, is the skeleton. Like, the little skeleton model. I'm gonna keep that in my house from now on. I'm never gonna get rid of that. You know what, Colleen? I like that idea, too. I like the, like, the thought that she's sort of non-committal, she's sort of indecisive, and also because she's a genius, she loves a challenge, you know? Um, and so as soon as she gets level 10, she's like, I don't want to do this. I need to do something else. Like I already, I did it all, you know? Um, she wants to be like constantly learning. How about that? I like that. And you can see it from the outside. <laughs> okay. Baby's crying. Would you like to super efficient baby care, please? She's like a completionist. Exactly. Okay. I like this plan. This is a good plan. So we'll have to successfully diagnose and treat five patients. Yeah, our, our days of medical malpractice are behind us. We can't be doing that anymore. If we're gonna try and uh, max the skill, we gotta stop giving surgery to Sims for no reason. That's not right. We need to, we need to calm down, okay? What pet do I have in The Sims? Oh, I've got a cat. Only a cat, though. This cat named Carrot is my only pet. I never had a different pet. Just this pet. There was not um, any other dog that I had today that died. That would be ridiculous. Um, I only had this pet, Carrot. Only the dog. I mean, only the cat. Jesus. Only the cat. <laughs> I've only had one pet. It's only a cat. It's only a cat. <laughs> there was no dog, okay? What dog? Anyway, <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Go to sleep. How long until you age up? A little bit of time. A little bit of time. You could probably just take a shower and then go to sleep too. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Should we buy anything else? Do you guys want to buy like more expensive appliances? I don't know, we got so much money. I feel like maybe now is a good time for us to really embrace this and buy like the good stuff, you know? Let's get it. Let's get a 13K stove. How about that? Okay, I was gonna have them try and woohoo to get their fun up, but I don't really want to risk another, um, I don't really want to risk another incident. Risky woohoo incident. You hate how those look? Yeah, I don't love how they look either. I've got a doctor of medicine diploma. Oh, we should put that up. Oh, I used to have art right here, but then it burnt down in the fire. Maybe I could put this. This could be kind of nice. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Do any of Raisin's siblings get married? Oh, I guess I didn't marry them. Oh no! Oh, um... Eggplant lives with... Uh... Barney's? Barney got married to a guy that had a child. And... Aubergine lives with them. So... It's not in the family tree, but like Aubergine's been raising that kid. So that kind of makes sense. Maybe we could talk to my my husband. Compliment outfit. How about that? Get our social need up. We don't have work again until Wednesday. 
but that's okay. Are you not getting your social up? Maybe we can try and force them to woohoo. Woohoo with Bran. That'll do. That will do. Okay, if it's if we're pregnant, I'm deleting it. I'm just telling you this right now. We have already eight sims. I don't need more. I do not need more. Get up. We're fine. We're fine. I can't have more. It's too much. It's too much. Oh my god! Which one of you caught fire? Where? Oh, it's the grill? Remember when I said that if he caught on fire, I would let him die? Recall how I said that. Don't extinguish it! Stop! Oh no! Should I do it or not? No, I won't. Extinguish yourself. Sorry, sorry everyone. It, I don't know what came over me just then. That was bad. I, I won't do it again. Sorry. Do you understand how long he's gonna live for? I need you to understand that he's got 23 days left. He got 35 bonus days. The guy's been on the verge of death for so long and he's got 23 days left. He's never gonna die. It's because we finished the, um, the like fitness aspiration. So you get the, what's it called? We get this like long lived trait. And so he lives literally forever. Like, him and Raisin are gonna be elders together. He's gonna live to see Blaze have kids. It's a nightmare. Okay, you're gonna come sleep. So are you. How long till you age up? Oh, soon. Okay, good. Go to sleep. At least we have a, a babysitter. That helps, I guess. Okay, you go to sleep too. Everyone go to sleep. Do you wanna like super efficient baby care? Maybe? And then go to sleep. It is nice because he finished the whole parenting aspiration as well. He's done like three aspirations in his life. So he can do everything. He's great. Hi, Dad. How are you? How's it going? Okay, save game. I should have let him die. No, I shouldn't have. I don't know what I want. Honestly, I don't know what I want. I'm really having a hard time with this. I keep like going back and forth on how I feel about it. It's really confusing. Okay, so maybe in the morning I'll age up Cheddar and then we can redo the kid's bedroom to make it into like a proper kid's room for them to share. Um, that'll be good. And we can put the closet back and stuff. That'll be good. Okay. I'll work on that in the morning. Maybe as soon as one of them, one of them must wake up early. Probably not though. <sighs> I don't think I want to move him out because I don't want to risk not having his grave. It's really important to me that I have his grave. Obviously, you know. Okay, MC Cheats makes him leave. Thank you. I just want to get rid of some of these ghosts today. Life is good. How are there so many? So many graves? Because <laughs> I've played through 15 generations, but also, um, I've been collecting them. So, like, sometimes I'll go to a lot. And if I know like a sim had died there, or maybe like if I'm at the bar and some elder dies of old age there, I usually bring their grave home. So like not all of these graves are even mine, my sims. Um, so, I mean, these ones all are, yikes. But see, Dylan, found this one on the street. 
not my grave. I found it and I brought it home to add to my collection. But a lot of these sims are my sims, so. Poppy pots, poopy pots. You know what? She belongs in this household. <laughs> Okay, um, you'll be up soon. You can make a cake to age up the toddler. That would be good. That would be good, please. Um, okay, make a hamburger cake. Yes. Why do I keep their gravestones? For fun. It's really funny how I have this giant pile of graves in my front yard. I'm trying to fill up, like, the entire front yard, you know? What's the baby's name? Oh, its name is Yam. We almost called it Ed Sheeran, but we decided on Yam. Okay. Yep. Hurry up and bake the cake. People always come in and they're like, why don't you make a graveyard? That's no fun. Have you seen what I have? Every time someone comes to my stream now, I can be like, do you want to see my graves? <laughs> it's so funny. I get rated. I'm like, do you want to see my graves? <laughs> and then nobody expects this many. It's just great. It's just great. Okay, let's add some birthday candles to this. And then we can help blow out candles, cheddar. Come on, age up. Let's go. Uh oh, kids have to go to school. And I didn't wake them up. Uh oh, you didn't even shower. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, age up. <sighs> no! Everyone in this house poops on the floor! How many lactose intolerant sims am I gonna have? <sighs> okay. Like father, like son, honestly. <laughs> it's genetic, it's genetic. It runs in the family, it does. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's think about this bedroom and how we really want to, like, go about, um, adding to it. Because, like, this is kind of fun. I do like the void critter stuff. But also, I feel like maybe I should try and organize the beds in a slightly different way like maybe if they each had their own like side of the room or something that might be kind of nice i don't know and i don't really like that bed Bunk beds? I guess we could do bunk beds. Do you know what? There is like, um, there is like this bed. And then maybe we could do bunk beds. Ew. Maybe we could do like the loft bed like that and then a different bed on the bottom like a different vibe, you know? That, I feel like, kind of works. I feel like this rug, while I loved it, it's not really working for this room anymore, so... Are they all sharing a room? No, just two of them. Oh, I'm poor because I... Uh-oh, I forgot I don't have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of money because I, um, bought really expensive appliances. Oh, gosh. Um. That was maybe a mistake. I forgot that I was gonna have to redo a room. I'm not really liking these together. The Dream Home Tiny Nightstand won't break the ladder, do you think? We can test it. It is small, so... Do you want to come here and try and sleep? Do you have work today? No. Come here. Mm. 
Nope, does break the ladder. Nightmare. This game sucks. We could always do it like this. We could have the cat bed like, I don't know. We don't need to do it like separate. And I could get my closet back this way. Um, there's not really a lot of orange that, oh, why doesn't the game class that as orange? That's great. Oh yeah, Garfield's definitely gonna use the cat bed. Don't worry, that's the plan. Um, this will be Garfield's bed. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. Um, let's think. Maybe just like a white nightstand, nothing too fancy. Oh no, the cat's not named Garfield. The child is named Garfield. Sorry for the confusion. That's my Sim's son, not the, yeah, not the cat. Easy mistake, easy mistake. Totally understand where you're coming from, but in fact, uh, it is the child. So, that's so scary looking. Is that even worth it? Is there anything else I can sell? We can get this funny poster. I like that. Um orange no 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 I don't know I want something like it needs to be more solid I think that's horrible I also think that this is horrible so um maybe something like this because it's it matches a little bit better with everything else. Okay. That should work. And then maybe I could give the Sims like a, how about a desk in the corner? Oh, or wait, we could do like a little, probably not those. I'm trying, but it's not working. Let's just do a plain white one. We could give them a little desk. You could do a white rug maybe. Yeah, isn't that too plain though? This is like the orange gens room. We need to really embrace it. <laughs> this will work and we can get like a little orange chair. Um, maybe if there was like I don't know. Let's see, how about this? And perhaps a little pencil cup? That's cute. All right, I was gonna put my closet back. So we had originally done like from Dream Home Decorator. I got rid of it because I needed space for a second toddler bed. But now that we have it like this, we can kind of put the, um, the stuff back. Clothes. These come in like some kind of fun colors. So I can use those. And I can put a light in there. And then we have like a little closet. Do we really need this? No, but it's a fun little touch. You know? It fills it in a little. Okay, let's get like a cute lamp. Are we playing or just building? Oh, we're playing. Uh, you caught us at kind of a funny time if you just came in because we're, we're renovating a bedroom because one of my Sims just aged up. So I'm renovating their bedroom at the moment. Um, we just want to not spend too much money on this. This will be good. I could probably get like a backpack and stuff. Oh, the science table in the nook could be kind of cute. That's not a bad idea. We also, oh, we don't have like a dresser, so we could always put a dresser. 
I know you guys want the pumpkin carving table, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Like, is this Blaze's room? No, this is Blaze's younger siblings' rooms. This is um Garfield and Garfield and Cheddar. Garfield and Cheddar. Don't the hanging clothes count as a wardrobe? Yeah, but I I mean like decoration wise, we don't have a dresser. It's nice to have dressers in the game. Okay, I want some of the like mess stuff from the- I'm sorry, Cheddar. <laughs> that makes me feel bad. I forgot your name. Um, I like some mess on the floor. I feel like that's kind of fun. It helps to fill it in a little. And then... Here, actually, do you know what I might do? I might raise this up to be on the wall. And then I might get like the little hamper that I wanted. What gen is this? These Sims are gonna be the sixth generation. Um, the Sims that I'm like making a room for right now. Base game, but we're on the plum generation of not so berry. This will be eventually the orange generation, as you can maybe tell. <laughs> We're, we're building for them right now in the orange gen. And it'll be the 16th of our, of the save that we've been playing in. We've had this sim for a long time. Okay. Um, shouldn't put too much more in here. Maybe if we got like, this item's kind of cute and we can do the swatch that has like the the pictures on it, you know? And then maybe if we got another one of these little toys. Is the plum gen finished? Uh, we still have to switch careers one time. But after that, we've pretty much done everything that we need to for the generation. We've, we've made a lot of progress with the plum gen. We've done pretty well. Um... Those will be a nice touch. When are we gonna build Newcrest? Um, I think I said I would do that this weekend. We would work on a build for Newcrest this weekend. Yeah, I think on Saturday we'll do that. That's the plan. Um, okay. I think that maybe we should stop spending money on this. <laughs> I like it, but I'm worried about spending too much. So maybe I'll leave it there for now until we go to work again, because the Sims will make a bunch of money today at work, so then we'll be okay, but I probably shouldn't spend too much more. Um, Ash and Mocha and Makilla and Court and Brit and Buster, thank you for the subs. Yeah, we don't want to spend all the money on the kid. I do need to go into Cass and like dress this one up, but oh my God, it wasn't worth it from lactose intolerant traits. I'm gonna poop on the floor! I'm gonna poop on the floor again! Oh, go upstairs, go upstairs. Please, 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 please. Oh my god! Oh, this is the second time a Sim has pooped on the floor! I... Okay. You know, this is honestly amazing. Uh-oh, who's calling? Oh, you think Elliot's gonna propose? Yes, do it. <laughs> he was so close to not pooping on the floor. So close. And yet, here we are. <sighs> okay. You know, <laughs> it really does run in the family. It's too much, it's too much. Is it actual poop? So what happens, what I've learned now that I've seen it again and paid more attention, my Sim ate dairy. And when they ate dairy, it put their bladder need like way down. Like they were like really close to pooping their pants. And, and we didn't make it to a toilet in time because our sibling was using the toilet before us. So we didn't make it in there. So we peed our pants, but it's not really pee, is it? Because this is happening to us because of the lactose intolerant trait. So we pooped on the floor. So, go to school, why won't you go to school? He's like glitched, he won't go. 
Can I take the day off then or something? Why won't... I don't understand this. Okay, we're evilly skipping school today, I think. That's fine. Let's get mail. Shall we? Okay. Yeah, sims actually can poop their pants for real if their bladder is low and they're trying to fart. That is a real thing. Oh, this is good. All these toys are gonna get us some money back. Alright, I'm feeling a bit better about the budget right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is a relief. Um, maybe... Can I put this on top of the bookshelf, maybe? I like that idea. Hold on. Surfaces. Come here. I want to put this, like, up there. I really like that. The kids can have a slug in their room. Okay. Yeah, I'll do a makeover for Cheddar eventually, but I'm, I'm too upset about him pooping his pants to do that right now. I might have to wait until next time we play Not So Berry to fix his outfits, because I just, like... I just can't. I just can't. You know? <laughs> I just can't do it. Well, this has been a lot of fun. We've made a lot of progress today with Not So Berry as well, so this has been really good. Um, I'm probably gonna get off stream here in a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out with me, chat. I've really enjoyed the stream today. I needed this. It's been a, a very fun time. Um, but tomorrow on stream, we're actually gonna play The Sims 3. Uh, we've been playing a Sims 3 Legacy, uh, and we're gonna play that tomorrow. I think I'm gonna build them a new house, or at the very least, like, deeply renovate the house that we have right now in The Sims 3. So we're gonna do that tomorrow, I think. Um, and then we're gonna play Not So Berry again on Friday, if you're wanting to see more of that. We'll do that on Friday. So that should be fun, yeah? Uh, but thanks for coming by! I really love, um, I really love playing this game, so. <laughs> Um, I think that we should go and maybe find someone to raid, um, and then we'll get off stream, yeah? Okay, I opened- I tried to go to Twitch and I opened my own YouTube channel, that's not helpful. <laughs> not gonna find someone to raid on YouTube, am I? No? Um, oh really, uh, you had to go back to Manage Worlds and then back into the household to fix the school glitch. Okay, that's good to know for next time. That's really annoying. That is really, really annoying. Um, okay. Well. Let's see if anybody is playing some Sims tonight, or, you know what, actually, I've got, I have two ideas. I'm not sure which one is best, but I might go and raid my friend Tyler. Uh, you guys might know Tyler for a couple reasons. <laughs> Number one, um, I'm sure you're maybe familiar with Tyler Oakley from YouTube. Also, we played Among Us with Tyler on Saturday, and he's playing Animal Crossing right now, which is one of my favorite games. Um, I might go over and say hi. Also, oh my goodness, wait. I think Tyler is 11 followers away from 50,000. That seals it, we're going there. All right, chat, if you don't follow Tyler already, he's really close to 50K on Twitch. We can, we can get there easily tonight. 11 of you can follow him for sure. Um, but please go say hi for me. Um, I think you're gonna like his streams a lot. Tyler is so funny. I had the best time playing Among Us with him on, on um, Saturday. I hope that he had a good time because I know it's always so scary to like play Among Us with a new group of people. So I hope that we weren't too intimidating for him. <laughs> um, it sounded like he had fun and, and um, he was chatting with us again after after we got off stream and he sounded like he enjoyed it. But I always feel bad like when people play things for the first time with like new people because I know I would be scared if I were him. So, uh, but I, I had a great time. So if you want to go say hi to Tyler, please do. I think he's like decorating his Animal Crossing island. Um, and I'll be here tomorrow to play some more Sims after that. Yeah. Also KJ and Aaron, thank you for the subs and bits. And I'm going to start the raid now. Okay. Thank you. I love you all already. I miss you already. I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. Good night. <laughs> 